Hello, everyone, and welcome into a special holiday edition of MNW Breakdown. I am your host, Eric Generics, and joined at ringside by the one, the only, hey, Mr. Rabbit. Say hello hey. to the beautiful folks. Hey, hey, hey. Hope you're having a good spooky day, everybody. You ready for a good old freaking time? A good old fashioned breakdown. Game. And I'll tell you what, we're, we're not going to have to wait very long to jump right into all the action. Today is a packed, action-packed day, and we are going to kick it off with Triple Threat Tornado Tag Team Action, the Cartel, taking on Apex, taking on Vaporwave, and we are going to hear from the Cartel, who could be in for a very, very big night. Let's head down to the war boss, Nitzig Gunkabla. You know, they say that all tag teams are created equal. But you look at us and you look at Vaporwave and you can see that statement is not true. See, normally you go one-on-one -on -one with another tag team, you got a 75-50 chance of winning. But we're an anomaly and we're not normal. So you got a 20% at best it beat us. Then you add Primal 8 to the mix and your chances of winning drastic go down. See, the three-way breakdown, you got a... 13 and 137 in chance of winning, but we got an 89 and 63 64 chance of winning because Primal Heat knows they can't beat us and they're not even gonna try. So, Vaporwave, you take your 8 and a 170 second chance minus our 125% chance, and you got a 2.5 chance of winning at breakdown. But then you take our 274% chance of winning, if we was to go one on one, and then add 88 and 5-6%, and we got a 500% chance of winning at breakdown. See, Vaporwave, the numbers don't lie, and they spell disaster for you at breakdown. I, I don't think Nitzig knows how to do math. No, I don't think he knows either, but you know what? Maybe, I don't, you know, if we hold out till Christmas, he might get an abacus. Then what majesty might I, happen? I, I wonder if his tag partner is going to make any more sense than he did. Before we head down to ringside, we're going to hear from the Mandalorian, Hutch Kale. Glory and fame, blood is my name, soul full of thunder, heart of steel. Crimson, I truly did think you were the honorable one in Apex, the respectable one. But it seems being a lackey has made you too ambitious for your own good. You've had to pull yourself from the bootstraps. We all have. But I didn't get to where I am by attacking people like a damn coward, a tunnel of bird. I would have thought what with living in your master's shadow for so long would have made you want to be more. Yet... Here you are, still defending Nero. Like a good soldier, sure, but blindly following someone is not admirable. You and your Apex family are practically zealots, or victims depending on the point of view. You're so worried about Victor defeating Nero that you're going after anyone who is even associated with him. And I have respect for that, to some degree. After all, you isolate and eliminate, but you're amateurs about it. Because you've got Troll Train involved by attacking Tagiri, and I'd expect no less from a woman who threatened a mother's child. And like true royalty and their loyal followers, you're all willing to do the unthinkable just to stay on top. Do you even have a plan? Send a message to Victor Vicious? Good luck, he has Nitzig and I to send messages. The kind that leave people broken in the ring. What message does Apex's newest team send? You and your pet gorilla are obstacles to me. And Vaporwave? Well, I have no issue with them. If they want to get a chance at you, then they're collateral damage. In my line of work, everyone is either a potential target or collateral damage. As for your little fire, my people plummeted through orbit wearing nothing but their armor. Their Beskar gum. All you'll leave is a scorch mark. I've set fires, lit scum on fire, and been on fire, so your fire will not affect me one bit. And you may call yourself Apex Predators, but every Apex Predator I've faced, well, their skulls decorate the armory in my ship. When you face Nitzig and I, you become the prey. Despite being outnumbered, we are in a target-rich environment. And like many who has had the misfortune of pissing me off, you'll know you don't mess with Mandalorians. Don't mess with Mandalorians indeed. And ladies and gentlemen, that match is going to kick off this Halloween edition of Breakdown. It is party time. Let's get it in, people. The following contest is a triple threat tornado tag team match. 
scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, representing Apex at a combined weight of 522 pounds, the team of the Crimson Phoenix and Ravalos, Primal P. Ravolos and the Phoenix. And this is a formidable, formidable team. They have looked very, very good as a unit. And they've been a group of very few words. Phoenix and Ravolos are focused. The cartel is talking. And the reason why they're talking is they feel confident because their leader, Victor Vicious, in our main event, will take on the leader of Apex, Nero Napier. Will Victor be the one to break the streak or will he become just another statistic? We're gonna find out, but we got a long way to go. And this match might set the tone. I'll tell you what though, Rabbit, the curious thing for me is Vaporwave seems to be the odd team out. They're just kinda in the middle of all this. They offer their services to the cartel, but Hutch and Nitzig kinda wanna do this themselves. So here we are. And introducing second. At a combined weight of 472 pounds, the team of Apollo Hades and Rico Rose. Vaporwave. Fantastic, fantastic. Speaking of Wow, and look, look at the conquistador, the, the Latin conqueror, Rico Rose. Oh, yeah, that takes me back to New World. That's fun. And look at Apollo Hades, looking like the Ultra Jack version of the Warden from Super Jail. Looks amazing. And Apollo and Rico again, like I said, caught in the middle of this Cartel Apex feud. And introducing third, first. Weighing in at 245 pounds, he is the Mandalorian, Hutch K. Oh man, look at that best car, that looks awesome. Well, he's got the, uh, the high-tech armor out for this one. He said it's a target-rich environment, and there's four of them that he can see. And speaking of the cartel, two former members of the cartel, the Mad World, will defend their tag team titles against the forces of nature. We understand that huge main has been cleared for action. What state he's in, we have no idea. The aristocratic candidate will challenge Brawlkaiser for the interdimensional championship. We have a pair of Extreme Rules matches. Sheer Khan versus Kevin Blackwell on the Bulldog Grant Martin taking on Jack the Questionable. The trio's titles, the spookiest of all titles, Doom versus Spectre Sonata. How appropriate we do it on Halloween of all days. Absolutely. And introducing his tag team partner, weighing in at 362 pounds. He is the war boss, Nitzig Gunk. Gobbler. There we go, and he went to Halloween as the scariest thing he could think of himself. I can relate. Oh, fantastic. This be just, oh, this is gonna be a real jazz party. So, Rabbit, of these three teams, who do you like? You know, I think if you want an underdog card, I think Vaporwave might be the biggest underdog card we got right now. I don't a lot of people want Apex to win. Yep. Uh, a lot of people want uh, a lot of people want the cartel to go ahead and win. Uh, I think I'm gonna back the horse of Vaporwave this particular match. Okay. And we are off and running. Here we go! Nits it going right after Apollo Hades. Ravolo's taking it to Hutch Kale, and the Crimson Phoenix going after Rico Rose, who DDTs them into the canvas. There we go, locking Horus Nissig right in the corner of Apollo. Nupsy Daisy, there you go. And Speaking oh, backhand by off. Phoenix. Just laying into Rose, and now look at this Boston Crab on Ravolo's. Headbutt you, oh man. Nitzig just. Right into Nitzig. Oh, 
Blasted nice. Apollo Hades. Very nice match. Look at that face tear. Ooh, nice maneuver by Hutch Kale. Knocked Revolos down on his butt. Not right on that nice. Oh, right and did you see that? A drop kick into Hutch Kale as Revolos did that back body drop. Inadvertent double team move. And now Nitzig trying to help out his partner going after Rico Rose. And, and now here's what we wanted to see. Who's hotter, the Phoenix or the Playboy? It's Apollo and Crimson Phoenix. Let's see what we got, baby. And look at Phoenix ducking out of the ring. Wiley veteran move, but now grabbing them by the feathers is Hades. Look at Rivolo's cleaning the ring. Atomic drop. Ooh, they plucked up. And now suplexing Rico, center of the ring. And now Hutch back in the ring, going after Ravolos. Looking good so far, good stuff. Good stuff by everybody. And now it's Rico trying to team up with Hutch Kale, maybe to take out the bigger Ravolos. And now here comes Nitzig to go after the ape. Look at the power! Look oh. at the power of Nitzig! Oh my lord, I've never oh. seen those up like it's over 350 pounds of gorilla right there. And now Phoenix picking up Hades. And back into the ring he goes. And he said it was a target, target rich environment. Hutch Kale looking for target acquired. He got him. Oh, damn. You know it's a good night when Hutch is clicking on all cylinders and now going after Phoenix. Elbow to the face. And Phoenix says, get the heck out of here. And from behind is Apollo Hades. This is great stuff. Great stuff so far. And now Revolos getting chucked by Nidzig. There's a clothesline by Hades. Hutch Kale rolling to the outside. Clothesline to Revolos. We also will have the Cyberbots taking on Triple A, a feud of the organics and the inorganics. And now look at Nitzig stacking him up. Look at this, oh, Ravolos, uh, slingshot oh. right into Apollo. Oh. Ay, Chihuahua. And Rico saying, I want no part of Nitzig. And now dropping it. The big booty dropping, oh look at Phoenix all over it. Phoenix and Ravolos back in control. And now it's Ravolos looking to set up Rico Rose. This could be trouble. Rico. Oh, the Gorilla Slam. Here Into the cover. One, One, two. two. Oh, and oh, yeah, right oh, there was man, Hutch Kale. Ravolos was fingertips away. Right at the wire. And now look at Ravolos, looking for that butterfly. Oh! That package suplex, Ravolos on fire. Quite literally. Oh, oh yeah, seriously, seriously. Oh, oh, and now Nitzig to the top, or rather, uh, Ravolos to the top. Oh, look out! Double axe oh. handle to Rico! Oh. And there's the Phoenix down! What a double team move, and look at the feisty Hutch Kale trying to steal the pinfall. And now from behind, here comes Apollo on Revolos. Close line to the ape. And now from behind, face buster to Rico. And now Apollo on a back body drop. That's and now look so in here, the oh. fisherman driver. Nice fisherman Rico. driver, oh, everybody's down. And right again, Hunt breaks it up. Phoenix to the top up, rope. Oh, oh, and Hutch oh, says, take you, take a seat. And they're going outside. Nixig drops the booty. It's still anyone's game, ladies and gentlemen. And now gentlemen. Ravolos. Ravolos looking for that gorilla slam again. Down goes oh. hey, or Hades. Into the cover. Referee. Oh, he just ran him over. Oh, and Apollo oh. kicked out. Oh, so I don't believe it. Oh my lord, Flash of the Titans is Apollo gone, will not die! And now he's trying to rip his head off! And a drop kick! Very nice. 
To the top rope, Ravolos goes. Looking to fly. Oh, what an elbow drop. Good grief. That's astonishing. That's amazing right there. Oh, and a super kick. Holy shit. Super kick by Kale. Ow, and he stole it. Oh, my God, the cartel. Take the cartel it. just oh, stole it. Super kick out of nowhere. Here are your winners, the team of Nitzig and Hutch Kale, the Cartels. Very nice. And is that a prelude of things to come? That, that was a stunning. That is certainly the way to get the job done. Nitzig and Hutch Kale victorious in match numero uno here on Breakdown. That, that was, God, that was nice. That was so nice. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a match that has come to define the Halloween season. You're not going to have to wait long for it. It is the Monster Mash. Oh, Rabbit, you, you like a, a good monster mash, don't you? What's a good monster mash between friends? It's nice. It's fun. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what. This match is going to be crazy. It is going to be a 30-man over-the-top rope battle royale. We will, oh. start, we will start with six competitors in the ring to start it off. And... At random intervals, that's right, at completely random intervals, another competitor will be added to the ring. I have this button and I will push it at any time. It's true. Rabbit controls when people come out. The button is right here. Oh, it's so The good. only way to be eliminated is for you to be thrown over the top row. Both feet have to hit the floor. I know we've said that before. Make sure you pay attention. Oh, oh it's cool to have power. Isn't it nice? Oh, it's so good. It's the best. Oh, it's oh, it's a write-off is what it is. It's so nice. It's, it's a, did you say it's a write-off? It's, it's a write-off. I love it. Excellent. <laughs> I like that you had this figured out already. <laughs> oh, I have to be, Eric. Former manager, old habits die hard. I was going to say, you're all over it. I am. I am. I I am excited. I am excited. Oh my God, this is going to be so good. Like you wouldn't believe. And I'll tell you what, after what we just saw, I have no idea what to expect from a monster mash. This is going to be but 30 people. 30. It, 30. Could be, it could be you. It could be me. It might be me. But as I said, we are going to be starting with six competitors in the ring. And in order to do that, we're going to have to introduce our six competitors. It's a long way to number 30. Will any of these six make it? The prize at the end of the tunnel is very simple. A shot at the World Heavyweight Championship. Last year's winner, Big Rock, knows exactly what that's about. Hopefully this year's a little bit more fruitful for him. Looking to walk away with gold instead of just an opportunity. But somebody can follow in Big Rock's steps and become the second winner of the second ever Monster Mash. Let's sit it down to ringside for the introductions. The following contest is a Monster Mash match. Introducing the competitor who drew number one. Weighing it at 245 pounds, representing fabulous, Joseph Kalman. Yeah, Joseph Kalman. And here comes Kalman. Yes. I'm so happy. Then he's getting weak. So Kalman, the first entrant, he's looking to do his best Shawn Michaels impression. And 
Introducing second. Weighing in at 213 pounds, she is the Beast Mom, Naja. All right, Naja time. Naja, one of the first six. We've got a cow man and a lion woman. There we go. Good I think segue. they call them lionesses. I think that's the correct term. I read Zoom books before. I think that is. I think you're right. I think you're right. And speaking of ferocious felines, as I mentioned before, coming up later tonight, Sheer Khan to go one on one with Kevin Blackwell in an Extreme Rules Falls Count Anywhere match. Oh, it's going to be good. The fire, the flames, the it's, boom. It is true. Also coming up later tonight, Graven to go one-on-one -on -one with Jagger Blackthorn at the behest of Lady Cat Gina. The return to the ring for Graven, 100%, and trying to fulfill his promise to Cat Gina, reluctant as he might be. And introducing third... Representing Electro Reality, weighing in at 262 pounds, the VR Junkie! Yeah, VR Junkie! Oh, I'm excited! I heard he does these wrestling matches on VR chat. Amazing. Uh, that's impressive. Wait, he live streams these? How could you stream a wrestling show while you're in it? That's one of the reasons I like him. He's so rad. I don't understand. He's totally cool. That's all you have to know. Do you know, do you know how to stream? I, I, I have been known to do a stream or two. I've heard that I you might be the loudest voice week. of any streamer around. I, it's true. It's true. And I have many people who say that. So we know three of the first coming. six. Oh. Who else is coming down? Who is? And introducing fourth, representing the honor bound from Latin Water Get Water New Mexico, the Luna. And like yeah, it, well, that is a full moon. Oh, it's a moon! Oh! That is a oh, replica that, moon. Oh, well, that makes sense. The moon. So, DeLuna, entrant number four. Again, these were all chosen at random. And we already know that these competitors, these first six, are going to have a long road to climb. Or a long hill to climb, I should say. A tall hill. There are words that I'm trying to say that are not coming out of my mouth correctly. Oh, you're doing just fine. Whether it's a hill, or a buttock, or like, or a butte, or a, or a ridge, <laughs> it's fine. It's we fine. They'll scale it, boy, howdy. We also know that his tag team partner, the Bulldog Graham Martin, will go one on one with Jack the Quest, will also an Extreme Rules match. And introducing Fifth! Weighing in at 247 pounds, he is the Dragonborn. Wow. So this was one of the uh, competitors who was involved in that tournament to try to get their hands on Nero Napier. He made it all the way to the finals, but could not get past Victor Vicious. And maybe with a victory here in this monster match, he will get his shot at Nero or potentially Victor. Revenge either way. So 
again, folks, 30 competitors will enter this match, starting with six, ending at number 30. Only way to be eliminated is over the top rope, both hit, feet hitting the floor. We can't emphasize that enough for some reason. I don't know why. We have to. Ah, that's right, it's in the script. Yeah, So we still have one more person who will be starting this matchup. And it's already looking sacked. Former champions. True. Former champions, former number one contenders. We got, we got quite the gang. Rabbit, I have to know, are you in this? Uh, if I throw this, if I throw the button real fast, I am. Oh. Uh, okay. My, my tactic is to jump out. Are you gonna hit the button, throw it to me, and run down the ramp? Yes. Be aware. Uh, okay, I'm ready. Okay. And introducing Six from New York City, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, Artemis. There we go, Artemis, and there's, baby. There's number six. And again, folks, we could see tag teams implode in these kinds of matchups. Oh, it's gonna be so nice. We know that Deluna and Artemis, longtime friends, also friends with Wiley, but there will be no friends in this matchup. No friends allowed. And here we go, folks. Are you ready? Oh, I've been ready. Are Let's you ready? Go! The Monster Mash has begun. And we are off and running. And look out here, Artemis nearly eliminated right off the bat. We got the Whoa. VR junkie trying to toss Joseph Kalman. We've already got our first. Did you hit the button already? I did. You hand me a button, I gotta hit it. I love it. This is the pinnacle. Zach the Weaver, come on That down. is fair. You're the next contestant on the Monster Mash. That is true. Zach the Weaver, entry number seven, representing the guild. And we've already got our first elimination, I think. Who was that? I think Deluna just got tossed. Yep, Deluna just got. Yep, you the, just stop got hitting the out. button so quick. Here we go. Here and we here comes number eight, eight, the Omni Geek. Come on down. You're the next consistent on the Monster Mash. So Deluna, the first elimination, heading to the back. The VR Junkie in trouble. Naja trying to dump him to the outside. Omni Geek with a DDT to Artemis Kalman, taking a chill pill. And now Zach DeWeaver in some trouble. Wiley trying to dump the orc. Omni Geek from an Omni Slayer to an Omni Geek. Oh, there goes Artemis. Baby. And look at look at this. Here comes DeWeaver trying to dump the Omni Slayer, and they got him. It they took two him. men, but Artemis is eliminated. There we go. And now dropping him down. Look at the oh, VR Junkie, Wiley going for the ride! Spin out Powerbomb! Yeah, looking good! So we've already had eight competitors. Are you gonna hit the button again or what? What are you doing? Okay, thank you, I appreciate you. There it is. <laughs> and now trying to dump the Weaver is the Omni Geek. I am strong! And here comes one half! Of the Abyssal Void, it's the Void Walker, Lord V. Lord V. 
come on down! And now Wiley trying to get rid of the Omni Geek. Kalman just pushed away Naja. And now it's the Junkie trying to hang on. And now Geek in some trouble. Able to knock away the shin of Wiley. This is looking good. Now there's a right hand. Oh, what a powerbomb to V by Naja. <laughs> and now Kalman. Kalman's got very VR Junkie up. And goodbye, Kalman, with another elimination. Oh, ain't that fancy? Kalman trying to run the gauntlet one to 30. And now look out here, Wiley. And there goes Wiley. Oh, he hung on. Oh, no. And Rabbit hits the button again, and here comes Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt, baby. And immediately a knee to Weaver. There we go, looking good. Wonderful, looking for that spinning oh. kick. Oh, he got caught, dragon screw by DeWeaver. This is a hectic match, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Naja, oh, wait, Lord V, wait a second. Lord V might have just eliminated himself, but he rolled back in the ring. Did you see that? I don't know, did his feet even hit the floor? Yes, he stood there. How did he get I don't back even know if there? he's eliminated. He Lord B is walk Lord B is walking through the ring. He is void walking. He is Oh, he chained me. What just oh, happened? You, you little oh, you Lord B mix. just decided to walk through the void. That is just not his one. And look at the Weaver eliminated by Thunderbolt. And now the ranks beginning to thin. There we go, yeah, it took a little play in that ring. What am I just going Again, to I don't know if Lord B was through. actually eliminated. We're going to have to get a ruling from the referee. Who's practicing void things? I mean, I am. I'm a voidologist. I think Lord B, Lord B was making his point that maybe he wasn't actually eliminated. There was some kind of void. You hit the button again. Good grief. Yes, I did. Rabbit is in control of these random intervals. <laughs> so much oh, what a double move! A punch into the dropkick, and here comes the cult classic. There we go. Number eleven. <laughs> so currently in the ring, we have Wiley, the Omni Geek. They're squaring up. Naja, Thunderbolt, Henry Coleman, Joseph Kalman. We still have three of the original six: Wiley, Naja, and Kalman. Excited. And now Omni Geek trying to change that. Oh, and a right hand. Wiley able to stay alive. Oh, and he got caught. Look at the oh. springboard and he bulldogs oh. Colt. And here comes the sunken sea captain at number 12. Kalman in trouble. Trying to hang on. Naja unable to put him over. Omni Geek though dumps Wiley to the outside. And a super kick to Zephyr. And now look at this, Zephyr trouble. Oh, Kalman hung on. Zephyr there trying to go. hang on. Hey, Omni Geek trying to hang on. Omni Geek, oh, he slipped. Omni Geek eliminated by Thunderbolt. And here comes lucky number 13, Dragoon. Dragoon. And, I, and look at that, right after Thunderbolt. With zero hesitation. These two have a lot of history together. And he's trying to, oh, there goes Zephyr. Henry Colt there eliminating Zephyr tail. There we go. Good job, cowboy. But now you gotta deal with the beast mode. Oh, and a kick to the head after some cowboy shit. Oh! Who doesn't like cowboy shit? And now a knee to the face by Naja. Naja and Kalman, numbers one and two, still in there. Number 11, Henry Colt. Number 13, Dragoon. And of course, good, the Highwayman still in there as well. Knee to the face of Thunderbolt. And now look at that. He was looking for a super kick. Naja not in range. Oh, and look at the stomp. Oh. Did you see the stomp? That was a hell. You're going to And look out here. Race. So, Naja interrupted the super kick. That might have been it for Thunderbolt. I think you're right. And now you're Thunderbolt right, trying right. to hang on. Naja trying to help out. And Thunderbolt stays alive. There we go. Lives another day. Here comes number 14. Who's it going to be? 
gonna be. And here comes the creation. Funnable getting some backup. The big man. And wait a second, Lord V is still on the ramp. Lord V going after the creation. Lord V is attacking the creation on the ramp. As Nigel's just trying to fight off, and they are brawling back to the ring. Oh, this is so freaking cool. And I guess Lord V's about to be in this match again. Clothesline to Cowman. And a clothesline to Cowman again. Oh, and another one. Oh my, creation is, creation going after everybody. And now beating the hell out of entrant number one. Just putting boots to Cowman. And now look out, going after Naja. Right hands to Naja. Right oh hand, a clothesline, and Naja's eliminated. Oh, Naja's gone. Oh, and now Henry Cole God. with a neck breaker to creation. So Naja's been eliminated. Kalman, the only original member of this match left. What a Shake run for the Beast Mom. Shake him off. And now Creation and Thunderbolt maybe deciding to work as a team. And he's going after Dragoon. And here comes Ramon. Here we are. number 15. <laughs> Do you like oh, and Kalman's gone. Lord V just eliminated Kalman. I guess the referees have decided he was not eliminated. I suppose. And now going after Ramon, there's a lot of history there. It was the new four horsemen that originally helped take the creation's brain. So no, oh, and there it goes, Thunderbolt. Creation never saw it, Lord V with two eliminations, back to back. And now looking for number three, the Void Walker. Not let me same. take you let me take you back to faction warfare it was the cleaver entering at number 13 that was doing some damage and now ramon in trouble trying to hang on creation would love to dump the jester oh what a drop kick henry culp just took out everybody damn drop kick cross body there you go lone star and a knee to the face henry colt my man and now looking for the head scissors, the Hurricane Rana. And I don't know if I'd want to stand on that apron for too long. Oh, here and now we it's go. Colt going after Ramoon. You know what they say, less than five, it's button time. I was gonna say, so you're, you're not hitting the button until there's less than five? That's fair. And look at Lord V trying to dump Henry Colt. No, He's been on a no. roll. Get in there. Hang in there. And Colt hung on. And now it's creation. Dragoon trying to dump the creation and he stays alive. Oh, a super kick to V. Knee to the back by Ramon. Here we go. Creation trying to get rid of Dragoon. And goodbye. Oh, he hung on. The crafty veteran. And now V and Ramoon squaring off. Dragoon and Creation squaring off. Henry Colt looking for somebody to kick. Oh, I love it! The Lone Ranger and the Cowboy. And look at Creation just psyching himself up. Ramoon just chucked Lord V, and now Dragoon in some trouble. Double team! Trying to get the veteran over the top rope. And he hangs on. You know, immediately the boots. And look at that, the craftiness. Kicking one person, then the other. The two giants in the ring, Creation and V, battling in the top right of your screen. There you are. And there goes Ramon! And, and Dragoon tells him to no. suck it! And now Lord V, squaring off with the Creation. And that could be ball game! And now Lord V, no doubt about it! There we go! Creation Damn. dumping V! They gave you a hole in two like in Price is Right. Not in my house. Not in my house, Lord V. Are you just going to let them fight? Oh, and there's the graveyard smash. You got to admit, this is just super freaking cool. Henry Colt is exhausted. This is basically... I don't, don't think the creation... I don't, don't think the creation guessable. liked that Dragoon tried to eliminate Thunderball. He thought they were all working as a unit. And now... He's gonna work as a solo unit to dump Dragoon. 
This there goes the Lone Ranger. And there we go. There's two. Oh, oh, it's not plugged in. Plug? Did you not plug the button in? No, I hit it. It must have just popped out. This is Why? a really, this is a really weak connector. Like, there's a the neck hell? breaker. Who built this? And I for think why? you did, didn't you build it? I mean, I'm sorry. You, all I did, had was all I had was the connector. Oh, the cult classic! There we go, the cult classic. I'm and look sorry, at creation just I had sit up. From the series one iPod. There oh, we there go. you go. You got your button working. Good job. There we go. Oh, another Done. cult classic! Yeah, do it again. The cowboy. And, and here, here comes, comes number Alexis sixteen. Edmonton. It's Alexis Edmonton. And now looking for another spinning neck breaker. Oh, I love the look. I too am a big fan of the new Metroid. I was gonna say, Alexis Edmonton looking real fine. And look at the dump creation. And a big knee, oh, but creation stays in the ring. And now a right hand. There we go. Seven seconds, what's gonna happen? To the corner. Oh, and here comes the road trader at 17. Hicks are there by here Henry Colt. You're gonna get harangued by the road trader. And out into the corner, look at this. Creation with two men. And now Starhand helping him out. And down goes Colt and Edmonton. I think Starhand wanted to get his hands on Edmonton. And now going after the creation. I don't know if that's a wise idea. That rabbit, you keep hitting this button. <laughs> I love hitting this button, it's so good! And here comes the Doof, Doof, Doofington! There we go, there is the Doof! Oh, the Doof. The voice of a generation, which one do you decide? Yeah, tell me about it. And now there's the clothesline. So it's Edmonton, Star, did you hit it again? Doof, Creation, and Colt. I can't even talk about it. First you don't hit it at all, now you're hitting it constantly. Yes, I am. Oh, and here yes. comes the other half of Electro there's Reality. Electro it's the Electro Man and a Hurricane Runner from Colt. Edmonton trying best. to fight it off in the corner. You know what the best part is about the Huh. We keep our budget. It's true. There we go. We can afford the rest of the breakdown because he didn't get his full entrance. I'm so happy. And look out here, Edmonton with that leg drop across the back of that star Ooh. hand, and the button has been pressed again. <laughs> Number 20, who's it gonna be? Edmonton trying to get rid of the creation. And Alexis be? Edmonton with a big elimination, and here comes Aqualung! The third member of Vaporwave who were in action just before this. Oh, that's good. That's good. And now the Doof in some trouble. Electro Man trying to get rid of him. Aqualung trying to dump Henry Colt and a neck breaker to Edmonton from Starhand. No. And there they go, the Doof is gone. The Doof is gone, be gone the Doof. Do not remove the cowboy. Electro Man trying to help out now. There's a block, we're up to number 21. Who's it gonna be? And here comes the cleaver. There we go. Aqua in some trouble. Aqua trying to hang on. Oh, and a reversal, Aqua Lung stays alive. And a closed line, there's the big man. You're doing good. Electro Man in some trouble up against the ropes. And now Edmonton, a lot of history with the clear. Oh, Colts classic! The there man who screwed over the Empire of Terror. During the war games, these two despise each other. They can't stand it, they just hate each other. It's just spit, spit. And Cleaver was one of the standout performers in that faction warfare. We were talking about him earlier. With an even better chance here at number 21. Snapdragon suplex by Starhand. Chop to the chest, body blow. Looking good, looking good. 
Aqua along with a shot to the back of the head. Now Henry Colt in trouble. Cleaver oh, would love some revenge. Trying to Please dump Henry Colt. The Colt classic. Oh, he hangs on. Uh, oh, there he goes. And now so trying proud. to kick him off the apron. Oh, Edmonton would love to, to get rid of Starhead and does. Alexis with her second elimination. That's got to be a, a good feeling for Alexis. And now Colt and Cleaver doing to. battle. Electro yes, Man looking for his second elimination. And goodbye, Edmonton. So, Rabbit, we're, uh, there, there's only four in the ring. Yeah, oh, I know. I know. Just wanted to make a note of that. Oh, look out here. Hopefully, this Body will. blows. Body Hopefully blows. Body blows. And now Cleaver, about to catch this reverse DDT. No, it's a neck breaker, and oh, look at that clubbing blow. Aqua alongside headlock on Henry, tossing him over the top rope. Oh, and what a block! Henry Skill and the cat, what a block! There we go! Kick Aqua right in the head, and there's a poison oh. runner. Looking great, looking great. Extremely, to quote my grandfather. And now Cleaver in some trouble. Look at Electro Man just trying to get that off. And here comes the Cult Classic off the second rope. Looking good. Henry's been in there since number 11. Aqua over the top rope. Right hand, reversal, and Aqua stays alive. You are letting these four go at it. I like it. Close line to Electro Man. I just want to see how this plays out. Henry in some trouble in the corner. Right hand from Cleaver. And a backbreaker. And I'll tell you what, this capacity crowd is loving it. They are going bonkers. They, oh my it is God, a packed look house. Them. Look at them. Look at them. Aqua there staying alive. And there's the button. Trying look to spice person. it up. Here it's comes number 23. Or 22, rather. It's Spike. Yeah! The Bone Warrior who missed the last Monster Mash is here! And there goes Cleaver! Aqua just dumped Cleaver! Oh my god, what an upset! The low bridge! Cleaver tried to get rid of the smaller Aqua Log and she pulled the, or rather he pulled the bridge! And now Looking shoving Spike great. away, clothesline into the corner and there's the button again! You are real. I love the, the randomness. I love it. I love this so much. Look at all the power I and have. And here comes Tiki. It's time to pay the troll the troll. troll. Going right after Aqua. And Electro Man set in the corner. Boot to the face. Looking fantastic. And now Spike in some trouble. Spike trying to toss him. And now a right hand to Spike. And it's time! Beep beep! Do you hear that? Beep beep! It's, it's the sheep. sheep! Here comes Sheepy, number 25! And a neck breaker to Tiki. And look at Electro Man rocked in the corner. Aqua Lung trying to dump Henry Colt. Shake him off, Sheep. And now Electro Man being grabbed by the hair. Henry again the reversal. Spike trying to get rid of Electro Man. And here comes the bot. The king of the showcase. It's Lassume. And there goes. I think oh. that might have been, who the heck? I think that was Electro Man that Spike just tossed. I think you're right. And a DDT to Lasume. You want to talk about two people that have dominated showcases, Lasume and Henry Colt. They know how to win multi-man matches. They are skilled at this stuff. And look at Lasume, there goes Henry! Finally! Oh, and there goes there Tiki! Tiki dumped by Aqualog, Henry dumped by Lasume, and here comes the Black Prince. There we go, Jack Andrews. And now oh, Lasume trying to get rid of Spike. Sandwiches. Who's it gonna 
be! Oh, oh it's Lionel Matrix! My man! And here he comes! I'm number two! I didn't even realize that you put him in this match, Rabbit! Yeah! Mitzig was doing some crazy math, but it might be time for the grand equation! There we go! Let's go, baby! Knock him down! And look at him taking his time! Oh, my. Rabbit, why did... I? Did you tell the camera crew to focus on your protege? I, don't, I can't even believe this right now. And here goes Matrix. There we Masume go. and Chibi. Matrix going after Jack Andrews. It's Spike and Aqualon. Yeah, nice guy, Bob. And Lasume tossed over the top rope and hanging in there. And look at Spike just chucking Aqualog. Chop to Matrix. And a vertical suplex. You hit the button again. Spike Who's going to be number 28? Who is it? Oh, it's death itself! Did you think I wouldn't? Helix is in the building! You On hollow! Ween, death is here! Y'all gonna learn today! And look at Helix sucks just glaring at everybody! And now he's going after Spike! That's a job. Jack Andrews on the ropes! And now up over the top rope, trying to dump Spike. Lasume with a power slam to Sheepy. And Spike hanging on. This will be number 29. Only All two right. more to go. Oh, it's Bedlam. It's Bedlam. And here comes Sandman. Oh, yeah. The last member of House Caliban. You can do it, buddy. I believe in you. So big number 30 still looming. One more to enter, and a big right hand by Sandman. You look and a scoop slam by Lasume. And Helix nearly dumped out of the ring. Oh. And look out here, power oh. on the Sandman. Look at Lasume powerbomb the Sandman! And Matrix is gone! Jack Andrews just dumped Lionel Matrix! There you go, buddy! You did it! And now to the corner we go, and they're stacked up. Helix and Spike! Look at Sheepy with a double underhook suplex! And now Sandman in trouble. Lasume trying to dump the Sandman! I'll take you back to Faction Warfare. Sandman was one of the final three in that Royal Rumble style match. Can he go all the way this time? Spike going after Aqualung. Now it's Jack Andrews looking for a fisherman suplex on Sheepy. And Lasume and Helix. And oh, Lasume tried to eliminate Helix. And he just dumped the bot. That was a we are down ass. to six in the ring with one to go. And Aqualung still staying alive. And Sheepy trying to dump Sandman now. Right hand, body blows. And now Jack Andrews in some trouble. Look at the power of Helix. Rabbit, you are waiting on this last button. I am terrified of when you're going to hit it. I see the hand over top of it. And now Sheepy going after Sandman. A chop, ducks underneath Helix. Oh, here comes the button. Who's gonna be number 30? Sandman trying to hang on. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm it's Burden! The yeah. beast is back! Oh my beast. God, the Bone Warriors on Halloween! Beast. Spike and Burden! And Burden going right after Andrews, and there goes Sheepy! Sandman eliminates Sheepy! The Bone Warriors were not in the Monster Mash last year, but they're here this year. Yeah, Samoa drop by Burden. Don't say I never gave any of you anything. Right hand by Spar, right hand to Spike by Aqualung. Sandman, Fisherman, or rather, Fireman's Carry. 
Burning trying to get rid of Andrews. These are your final six. Andrews in trouble. Burning trying to bring it down. And look at Helix. Look at the Bone Warriors working together. Keeping Helix off of Burning. And a clothesline of Burning. They could clear this entire ring and make it go. Oh! And there goes Sheepy. Spike just eliminated Sheepy. There you go, Jack Sandman. They do it in the Matrix. And now there's a body blow to Burden. Helix, oh, and Burden! Burden oh. with the clothesline, Helix, and he ducked it! Oh! Helix just eliminated Burden. Burden tried to dump death. Just banished him. So we are down to Aqualung, Sandman, Andrews, Spike, and Helix. And there goes Andrews! Final four, ladies and gentlemen! Yep! Aqualung, Sandman, Spike, and Helix sucks! Is this not the best? Could you imagine if Aqualung was able to steal this, if they could survive these monsters? Oh and look at Helix! God. Aqualung trying to pull the upset! And there's some kicks, the ninja trying to take out death itself. He looks at multiple eliminations already. Also, I stand corrected, I think it was the Sandman that dumped Sheepy. There's a knee to the, the gun, oh, he's got Helix! Helix Holy might be shit. out of time! Oh, and now Spike nice. was looking for the Spike pile driver not to be. I don't know if I'd be taunting if I were you, Sandman. Now Helix the reversal. Spike and Sandman. Head first into the turnbuckle and Helix might have just saved Sandman. One of these four will be the new number one contender for the heavyweight title. Who is it gonna be? Aqualung in trouble. Who can pull it off? No, Aqualung able to hold on. Yep, and now grabbing Aqualung. Oh, what a clap! And now lifting him up. And a Samoan drop. And now going after Spike. Trying to dump Spike to the outside. The comeback story could be over before it starts. And he hangs on. Boot to the face. And Spike just, fights away from it. Just barely, just barely hanging on. And now Spike going after Death. Spike trying to cheat Death one more time. Can the zombie escape Death? Can Sandman put down the ninja? Right hand to Helix. That's us asking questions. Oh, and You're Aqua in trouble. Aqua out of time. There you go. And now here goes Spike. Goodbye, Helix. Helix oh. is gone. And now after the out of time, Sandman looking to dump Aqualung. Goodbye, Aqualung. We're down to Spike and Sandman. Spike and Sandman, baby. There's your final two. Who is it going oh, to be? Let's get it in. Oh, and he just ran over Spike. Spike and Sandman. One of these two will take on either Nero Napier or Victor Vicious for the World Heavyweight Championship. And now a right hand to Spike. And look at the face, look how mangled Spike's face is. Oh, this could be it. Sandman looking to dump him. Oh, we got him. Spike just tossed him. It's Spike. 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 I don't believe it. Spike, baby. Spike with the reversal. Here is your winner.
What a photo finish, my man! Sandman was one away, but it was the zombie on Halloween who picks up the win and is your new number one contender. Oh, and look at him pointing oh, at the so fans. Nice. Everyone is losing their goddamn mind. I cannot believe the ending of that match. That, that was banana sandwiches. That's what that was. That was, that was a full bag of bananas and sandwiches. There was a lot going on there. Bedlam. Bedlam. Impressive, though. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. Like, are you kidding? Go. Go. And as if that wasn't enough, coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep it extreme. An extreme rules match. Jack the Questionable versus the Bulldog Grant Martin. And that match, yeah, you guessed it. It is next. It's next. Oh, but wait, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. I'm being told something is happening backstage. We have a camera crew backstage. Oh, my God. That is Otaro. Who the hell is that? What is that? Who is that guy? I don't have any idea. What is that thing? Otaro Azul is being assaulted. What the hell is that thing? That thing is... It looks like a massive robot. Oh, and a clothesline. And he's being, look at Oto, look at the power oh, of this the creature. the power of this dude. Just lifting, oh, and down he goes. And now, oh, into the, those crates. And Otaro trying to fight back. What in the world is this? We know that the Cyberbots are taking on AAA later tonight. I don't think this is what they had in mind. Oh, good lord. Yeah, but this doesn't look like anybody from Cyber Controller. I don't know who this is. Who in the hell is this thing? And now chucked across the uh, the ring. Did Lawson leave the ref so I have no, I have no idea. And now a right hand, uh, don't and a back I elbow. Gotta, don't tell me I gotta close the riffs again. And oh, what a arm drag. Oh, nice. Dropping the elbow across the sternum. This this is, I don't, I don't even know what this thing, oh, look at the, look at the power. That is oh, 350 oh. plus pounds that and he just he's... deadlifted. And he's not even breaking a sweat. That is oh. Holy shit. The Onto the concrete, no less. Oh, that is bonkers. And again dropping him. This harbinger of pain is just thrashing Otaro Azul. I like that word, good alliteration. Good alliteration there. And a big back elbow. And a clothesline, Otaro trying to fight back. Like, what in the absolute hell is this thing? And now looking for a power bomb, trying to maybe do the running of the bulls. Here it is, and down goes Tao. That was powerful. Oh, that was nice. The towering figure. And now, oh, into the crates. And now a big back elbow. A right hand blocked. Sending this giant, I guess it's a robot of some kind. Did you, did you get any notification as to what this thing might no, be? I yet? have no idea. We were expecting Jack the Questionable versus the Bulldog Grant Martin. And instead we got Otaro versus a battle bot. This, this is just, this Look is amazing. Looking for the choke slam, that's reversed. So Toro doing their best to fight back. Fight him off, Toro! And now I need the face, but this thing will not stay nice. down. I don't know what it is. It looks like some kind of divine construct. Looks 
looks like so looks like something from Gungrave or something. Looks I, awesome. I, maybe. And now look out here, trying to do the running of the bulls again. Uh, oh, oh, it sits him down. There you go, shake him off, buddy. Oh, Toro up. just trying to survive this thing, which has been relentless, and again he's got him up. Doing it and again. again he goes oh. down. This robot. This is crazy. And now a back elbow. And now a body blow. And what is, look at the power. He's got him up. Uh, uh, oh, what was oh, that? Down. What in the hell was that? And now a power bomb. Oh. And a knee to the face. Sprung him up and did that. That is, what in the world? I, I don't know what that was. That was awful is what that was. That, that Unnecessary. That's a, big, that's a big no-no creature is what that is. And ladies and gentlemen, I, we were not ready for that, but we are ready for what's coming up next. Singles competition, Extreme Rules. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match scheduled for one more. Introducing first, weighing in at 247 pounds, Jack the Questionable. There we go, Jack the Questionable. His very questionable shoes, I bet. Uh, yes. I'm going to go with yes. Yep, there they go. All about grandstanding. Good lord. Still to come later tonight. A triple threat match of major proportions. Absolutely. Flight Alice versus Johan Mjoln versus Suicide Gemini. We will also have Graven taking on Jagger Blackthorn at the behest of Kafjina. Mm -hmm. And tweeting out on social media, the Omni Geek saying, another Mecha Man? Do I need some to do something about this? Hmm, I got my hands full with the cartel for now. And introducing his opponent, representing the honor bound, weighing at 237 pounds, the Bulldog, Grant Martin. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Grant Martin. On his way to the ring, and this is a grudge match. He has lost three matches in a row. He has never beaten Jack the Questionable one-on-one. -on -one. Well, this might be just the time. He says it's his yard, but Jack has had his number. And tweeting it on social media, Otaro Azul saying, you challenge our honor, you attack me backstage, this is dishonor on the greatest. And this bull is seeing red. Otaro is pissed. And Lasume tweeting out, why does this keep happening? That is a great question. And a drop kick to Bulldog. So Rabbit, do you think this is the night that he finally gets off the schneid? Or do you think Questionable just has his number? Uh, I'm hoping, I'm hoping he gets off the schneid. Let's see, what's he doing? He's got his foot right there and the, oh! he's just making him kiss the boot. Oh, come on. We don't know where that boot, boot, we don't know where that boot's been, buddy. Yeah, yeah, no. Nowhere good, that's for sure. That's true, that is true.
And there's a falling fist drop from Bulldog. Here we go. He's sliding on You know, I had, a, I had a momentary uh, bout of panic as I saw him get out of the room, and then I realized, oh, wait, no, that was the last match. Uh, yeah, no, that was this the last match. This is totally match. legal. Fine. We're fine. And look, Jack wants no part of it. Not trying to get back in to stop it, and he does. To Got the corner. And a drop kick. Oh, drop kick. And tweeting out on social media, Michael Macabre saying, this is interesting. After they won their opportunity, they found their way to their own hell. Spectre Sonata versus Doom, the manipulator of souls versus three spirits. Guess I get to feast tonight for their face. For their fates have been sealed on this fateful night. Click Doomsday. And what a DDT and hip toss onto that ladder. That's astonishing. And now the chair into play. Oh, and onto the, look at that. Head first and then onto the ladder. Oh. And now just shots to the gut. And now throws it over the top rope. There's a boot. Face first. No, what a boot. And a spinning heel kick. Bulldog now, look at the power lifting him up. One arm spine buster. Ooh. Bulldog showing no mercy. And now right off the back of the head. And look at the moonsault. That. Springboard moonsault, the show dog. That was Best something. in show and a kick out. I thought that was going to be over right there. And now a shot to the back of the head. Blocked. And now looking for this side slam, Urinagi. And tweeting out on social media, Lasume saying, so help me if this is meme shit again, I don't know what I'll do. And now looking for the knee to the face, and he got him. The rolling knee. One, two, two. and Bulldog stays alive. Bulldog has been tormented by questionable for months. Can he finally get off the schneid and put him down? Questionable looking to do some damage oh, to the back of the head. And we know that Bulldog has neck chair. problems. He had neck surgery after his ladder match at the creation. Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all. God, he nearly oh. hit him on the chair. Oh, heavens to hell. Oh, come on. No. No, we were just talking about the history of neck problems. He's trying to end his career. Come on. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't this you is do it. not don't okay. Do Ref. Don't you do it. This is all legal. Oh, and a splash. Thank I don't think he got all of it. He went for a splash instead of an elbow drop on the chair. And now knee to the face. That was nearly very, very bad for Bulldog. And now a right hand. Jackie Q rolls through, and the monkey flip. And a super kick blocked. And now rolls through, and a kick to the face. And now it's Bulldog's turn. He's got the chair. Jackie trying to crawl back to his feet. Here we go. And, oh, look oh. for that body shot, and he got him. Oh. Right to oh, the spine. God. Oh, and now oh. the head. Oh, holy head shit. Head shot. And now to the oh. gut. Right to the gut. Right and to the And now to the knee, knee, hitting him everywhere. And now back to the neck. A neck breaker oh. to questionable. Spike tweeting out on social media, tonight I start my path to the World Heavyweight Championship. I'll be watching you both tonight, Victor and Nero, and I will see one of you very soon. Hashtag bone it down. And now there's the boot. Double underhook. He's got him up. Looking for the payday. Into the cover. One, two, and a kick out.
And now a boot to the gut. Oh, that's rough. And oh, look at him just styling on him, daring him to get up. And now Bulldog being kicked in the back. Slaps in, throwing him into the corner. Nice oh, drop kick there to drop Bulldog. Kick right to the small of the back. Oh, and a roundhouse. Good night, wow. Bulldog. He might be out the roundhouse to the side of the temple. One, right two, two, throw. Oh, 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 very good. Very good. I was sweating there for a little bit. Arm drag. Oh, with the monkey throw. And now back to a vertical base drop kick to the Bulldog. And now he rolls out right into that ladder. And now back into the ring goes questionable with Bulldog's body. Both of these men despise the other. Questionable maybe trying to send a message to the rest of Honorbound. And there's another oh, knee to the back oh. of the spine targeting the neck. And I don't That's know how much rough. more of this Bulldog can take. No, I don't know how much of it he can take either. Oh, but he is Lord. fighting back. Nice slap. It's not He's... the size of the dog in the fight. It's the fight of the dog. Or the, the fight in the dog. Whatever that there saying you go. is. There you go. And now a oh, chair shot and he moves. And then off the skull. And now off the dome. And again. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Head first on the chair. Bulldog oh. going to the top. This is oh, bad. Don't you do it. Jackie. Oh, and he had an elbow oh. first. Elbow first. That's it. He might be dead. Oh. Elbow on the chair. And now he's going to pay for it. I have, I have no idea where this is going to go now. They're Bulldog the knocking chair. it away. Jackie with a block. Boot to the midsection. Right hand. And a DDT. Looking good. And out of the center of the ring. And here it comes. The show dog. The show dog. Looking to good. put him away. Can he get off the side? One, One, two, two. yes. Yeah. He finally did it! Oh, good. Here is your winner, the Bulldog, Grant Martin! Oh, the dog can rest. The dog can rest now. Every dog has his day, and today is the day for this Bulldog. Looking great! What a match. Wow. That was astonishing. That was incredible. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we were supposed to have the Cyberbots taking on Triple A. I guess we're going to see what, what condition Come they're in that. in just a little bit. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is a tag team matchup. Introducing first, at a combined weight of 622 pounds, the team of the Cyber Controller at Cool J. Kyo, the Cyber Bar. So it's going to be Kyo and the Cyber Controller. And they've already neutralized one of the members of AAA, sending them a message. And 
Cool J. Kyo saying, let's hit it. Oh, well, they are looking in top form today. Top gear, I would argue. Oh, I Looking like they can take on the world. And introducing their opponents. At a combined weight of 472 pounds. The team of Demolition Fox and El Pollo de la Muerte. Triple A. Here they are. Well, this is supposed bots. to be a uh, a three v two, but it looks like the Cyberbots had a plan to thin the ranks. I guess they did. I, we still don't know if that robot's affiliated with them in any single way. I. So you're telling me you believe in coincidences? There's no such thing as a coincidence. That was like the first thing my grandma taught me. What you say in Lasube, if a robot might be affiliated with them? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? And here we I'm go! So right out of the gate, the drop kick by El Pollo! But drop kick by El Pollo! And, and the Kyo. elbow drop to the gut. And now head first off the canvas. Here we go. Rolling outside the ring and El Pollo back into the ring. And switching around. A oh, nice knee right to the, knee. that shoulder chest piece. Now DDT. Here we go. And dragging him away. You can hear the squeak of the floor. And now tag and made a demo. Made. And here comes the fox. What foxy wonders are and in a springboard. Oh, the springboard moonsault. Wow, immediately. The fox can fly. The flying fox, as it were. Another great creature in zoo books. Trying to wrench on that arm. And now looking for the elbow drop. Looking good. Dropping him with a Urinagi. Looking great. He's spinning him over. And now looking Lifting to work on leg. that leg. Leg What's DDT right Ooh. into the canvas and AAA looking good out of the box. And now tag made. Tag made. Side of Here. controller. Definitely with the power advantage in this matchup. Oh, shoulder first Ooh. into that turnbuckle. The Fox is using that weight against him, bud. And Demo trying to put the foot to him, but Cyber says no. Just shoves him off, no problem. Oh, and a backbreaker, and look at him holding on. The power. And another backbreaker. Looking good. And now yanking him into the corner. And I guess the only member that would have been available for AAA might have been the Slamphibian. But they didn't want the numbers advantage. They came out here 2v2. Very honorable of them. That's true. 
And a backbreaker to Demo. And they're paying for it right now. Look at Cyber Controller just beating the hell out of the Fox. Wasting no time for it, too. And now right hand. Blocked. Shoving the Fox away. There we are. And now dragging him towards the center of the ring. Looking for the power bomb. No! Ooh. Almost like a fall away slam. Nice alley oop. That looked ugly and a stomp to the face. Oh, and a DDT. And that could be it for Demo. But Might again, be. not going for the cover, just pounding away at the Fox right in front of El Pollo, sending a message. This is getting ugly. Trying to oh. exacerbate the frustration Triple, uh -oh. has, Triple A has had on pay-per-views. And now oh. chucking Demo into the corner. Bring him close to his side. Looks like he might go in for that tag, maybe? Yeah, might be looking for Cool JQ to get a little bit of the action, or at least thinking about it. Trying yep, to move Demo out go. of the way, just kicking them. And tweeting out on social media, Lasume tweeting out, Rabbit, please never say I'm associated with those rusted goons ever again. The fact that one of them reminds me of Malice is enough of an insult to pass meme problems. Understood. <laughs> yeah, don't piss. You don't want to piss Lasume off. I've never seen them mad, and I don't think I want to. Oh, look out no. here. Oh, look at that. Tree of Woe set up. And where are they yeah. going? Demo all the way what to the top row. Oh, the mushroom stomp! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, that's an extra life. And a nice elbow to the sternum. Demo trying to fight back. And a big spinning kick. Missed. Back elbow to Cool JQ. Right hand kicks. And into the corner. Drop kick. Here we go. Ooh. And now dragging Cool JQ towards the center of the ring. El Pollo getting out of the way. Might be looking for that neck breaker. That fox like quickness. There's the roll through. And the neck breaker. Into the cover. Loving it. Demo Loving. trying to put down Kyo to kick out. And Poyo nearly took off the head of controller. Yeah, no, I saw that. That was astonishing. And now talking to the referee a little bit before going back to their corner. And look at Kyo trying to go after El Poyo. Referee's got to try to keep control of this matchup. These two teams no. do not like each other. And that is an understatement. Oh, look at the body blows. Oh, Ooh. what a shot. Ooh, that was a Lighting up demo in the corner. Doing what he is good at. Backbreaker to demo. Carrying him again. And another Ooh. backbreaker. They might be looking for some real steel right to the face. Ooh. Into the this cover. Might be it. One, One, two, and two. knocked out the ref. El Pollo doing whatever they had to do. And now controller going after El Pollo with no referee. And now a right hand to Cool J. Kyo. Demo could really use a tag, but Pollo not there. The chicken of death. This is supposed to be their time of year, and they could really use a tag. Ooh. Into the cover with no chicken. Oh. One, two, and a two. kick out. Chickenless. The worst place to be. Oh my God, two totally is. Tag made a controller. And now, Throwing them into the corner. Controller. Back to the Controller. corner and a splash! Ooh. Demo is just trying to stay alive at this point. Honestly, yeah. And now a dragon screw. Anything to get the big man off his feet. Pollo is still down. 
Now a stomp to the arm. And you think back to when they went for that mushroom stomp, they might have been better served to go for a tag. Poyo back on the apron now. And now Demo, could this finally be it? No, drop kick. Stomp the controller. That's a very rough I don't know stomp. if I would want to tank this whole match if I was Demolition Fox. Yeah, I'm telling you. I mean, Poyo's right there. And I there's would... the tag, and here we go. There we go. The chicken of death on All Hallows Eve. And controller having none of it. And now Demo. Trying to stay out of the way of this. DDT! Ooh. And El Pollo saying, come on, you wanted me, you got me. And into the barricade. And look at that, El Pollo caught him. Look at that single leg takedown and it was not to be. And now a boot and Patata de Pollo right there to the go. head. Into the cover. One, two, and two. a kick out at two. Oh, very close, very close there. But they like to go for that chicken wing out of that Patata de Pollo, that shining wizard. And now look at the T-bone. That exploder suplex. And now Controller might be looking for that deadlift DDT. No, looking for the gut wrench. And a second gut wrench. I guess releasing on the second one. And Pollo in trouble now. Here we go. One, one two, and a two. kick out. Can El Pollo lock in the chicken wing? Dragon screw go. there. They're going to try for it. Controller trying to get back to a vertical base, but they show their back to the chicken. Never show your back to the chicken. Knowing, I think El Pollo thought better of it. Kill might have said something to El Pollo and then let Controller take advantage. And now the tag made, big back body drop by both Fox. That was a lot of alliteration there. That was, I'm proud of you. Big back body drop by both Fox. I'll take it. Yeah, you did it. Yahoo! <laughs> and tag made the controller, and here he comes. Here he is. Quick tags now by the Cyberbots. This is looking good. Every week that they work together, they get a little bit more in cohesion with each other. A little bit more synchronized. Like my favorite Jamiroquai. Now look at these knees. El Pollo. Might be on Dream Street. And now looking for this fireman's carry and a reverse DDT from El Pollo. Into the ring we go. And out of the corner, doesn't like the setup. So a couple of kicks to that metallic face. And now doing the side of the cross and the headbutt. Ooh. And now they like the positioning. Here it comes. And the kick right to the dome, but he moved. Controller moved. And a big back oh, suplex. Wow. Overhead belly to belly. Just really ha let him have it there. And now has him exactly where he likes him. Oh or maybe God. not, maybe wanted to drag him towards the corner and not tag me to Q. It was Cool J Q in a showcase match that knocked out El Pollo de la Muerte for their first win in MNW history. Go! Oh! DDT. And now putting the boots to the face of the young bot. And now Kyo about to feel this wrath. Controller trying to scream at him to look out, but it might not be enough. Here it comes, El Pollo. Oh. Looking for the chicken wing. Cross there face chicken wing locked in. Kill with nowhere to go. He's got nowhere to run. Trying to he choke him out. 
He might and he's tapping it. out. He's tapping Triple it out. Triple A picks up the win. And look at him hang him out on the to dry. Here are your winners, the team of Demolition Fox and El Pollo de la Muerte. Triple A. What a win. Damn. That was astonishing. After that surprise attack on Otoro Azul, Triple A with a measure of revenge. That's God. That that's just man. Impressive. Man, how glowing do you think they might be right now? Like genuinely. That's that's just something to write home about. Like on a on a scale of one to ten? Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with a twelve. Uh, yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you right there, buddy. Do, do you have a personal favorite match that you've seen so far? I mean, the Monster Mash is always a fun time. Is but it? If I have to, yeah, but if I have to go with one-on-ones, uh, I was dreading that entire Extreme Rules match. And I think that, isn't it? I, oh, and I think that, would, that, that was just a lovely, lovely match there. And ladies and gentlemen, we are not even close to done. But we first, can't be. We can't be. It's impossible. Yeah, we can't. But coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, some one-on-one -on -one action. But first, we have to hear from the Grim Reaper, who has demanded some mic time and has a message very specifically for Brawl Kaiser or potentially the Aristocratic Kane, depending upon which one of them decides that they are going to pick up a victory today. I say that as if they're not both trying to win their darndest. Right. Absolutely. And still to come, our main event, Nero Napier going one-on-one -on -one with Victor Vicious for the World Heavyweight Championship, which promises to be a huge matchup, a triple threat match featuring Blight Hallis, Johan Mjoln, and Suicide Gemini. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that particular matchup. And folks, let's send it down the ringside for our... <laughs> Excuse our interruption. But we have waited long enough. We have been watching from the shadows, seeing our pack can bring glory to our pack. We knew we had picked our allies well, but this has also reminded us of prior business left unsettled. Business with our prior pack. Or more directly, one particular member of the pack. Reaper, you made a poor decision. You stole a hunt from a predator. You say you do not fear death, but you will learn that there are fates much, much worse than death. <laughs> the brass has agreed to our request, and you will learn this lesson. But you will not learn this lesson from me. <laughs> when you stole my title opportunity, you also stole from a much greater hunter, and he would like a word with you. The master has arrived. <laughs> in just a few moments and I'm, I'm being told that wait 
Ra Rabbit, are you still there? I'm being told that they didn't hear anything I just said. No, I didn't hear anything I just said either. Uh, what I, what it? Huh? That's I. I'm. I've received word that we were we were expecting a, uh to hear from the Grim Reaper, but I understand that the Grim Reaper has a match apparently. I see. Okay. Well, let's see how this works. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Weighing in at 405 pounds, the Grim Reaper. Here he is, the Grim Reaper. I didn't, I didn't know that Reaper had a match tonight. You did. I, he was supposed you to would, have some promo time, but well, this is unexpected. Well, you would think, considering you know Halloween and all that. I mean, he was the uh, he was one of the final two in that monster match. I was mm -hmm. surprised that he wasn't in it, to be honest. He was the runner up to Big Rock last year. Well, this is just curious. Being told that all of you witnessed some kind of message about a. Uh, uh, it was Simon? Wait! Si the heck is this? Where'd the lights go? That is. Alright, well, that's creepy. Oh, that's eerie. What is happening? I okay, haven't... all right. I'm not okay with this. I was not ready for Halloween to come so early. Oh, so that's we... weird. Is this supposed to be Simon or what? I don't know. Oh, that's not Simon. That is not a Simon. That is not a Simon. What in the what? blue hell is that? What in the hell is that thing? I'm not okay, Rabbit! I require a hug! I will hug you! Jesus! Thank you! In heaven, what is that thing? And introducing his opponent! From the Nether Realm, the Elder One! The Elder One! Ah. Uh, I'm not okay with this. Okay. I'm not okay with this on any level. This is weird. Maybe Reaper shouldn't have pissed Simon off. Well, yeah, but how the hell is he supposed to know that this was... I don't know. ...a thing? You know, you don't really get told, hey, watch your P's and Q's. They might summon, you know... The Elder One! I mean, you did summon the Marauder. Could you maybe bring him back as a bodyguard? Oh, I'm, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to call his voice actor, see what he's up to. Uh-huh. Oh, Wait, you know his heavens. voice actor? Yeah! I didn't know you were such a celebrity talker. I, 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 it surprises my aunt. That's fair. <laughs> So I guess this is the Grim Reaper versus the Elder One. Good grief. Oh, holy hell in a handbasket. Just tossing. Look at this thing. This thing is heroin. I am I, I have no idea what that thing is. But I guess this is kind of the unofficial return of Simon the Psycho. I suppose. Look at that thing. I didn't know Grim Creature equaled that. That's a boot, and look at Reaper. That didn't even move him all in a headbutt. Oh! It didn't even move him. He staggered. Ooh, and into the ropes. Safe. The drop toe hold. Why would the brass bring this here? Where is APS? Wait, that's and now look at him drive his fist. Hurt. Oh, and now nah, he didn't even drop. He tried to punch him right in the heart. The does it have one? 
And a clothesline. Oh, and he got reversed. Holy shit. All I gotta say about that, shit. And now body blows. Right hand to Reaper. Holy moly, dude. Zit, he's going off. He's I mean, going. Reaper is, I, it, he's still stunned. Right hands, body blows. Reaper just trying to stay alive. And our right hand. Dude, and over the, do? He went over the barricade. Oh, get over the barrier. Oh, here he comes. Back elbow. This is not a no DQ match. That's a count of three. They're brawling in the crowd. This, this is something. Oh, holy shit. Uh, Mike Davis tweeting out on social media. Apparently, I'm here alone at the moment. The others are at the Children's Hospital helping with trick-or-treating. Son of a biscuit. Close line oh. by Reaper. Oh, but that's nice, though. But still, oh, what's that? Like, this is just all kinds like of creepy. This looks like made out of dead Coro and Riley. Like, what is this? I don't even know. Oh. And tweeting out on social media, the Omni Geek saying, what the, I feel this terrible power, like horrible horror incarnate. What is that thing? I don't know, Ravi, mean, what is that thing? The elder one. Excellent, I can read too, sir. So certainly not of anything I, I can see. If I had to admit, it would probably be something that said it was Can somebody have a talk world? with Simon that this is not okay? Every it's breakdown probably... should not be a parallel Dimension bending reality warper. That's exactly what the fucking multi. We sit in a multiverse in the crux of anything. This and thing is clearly an entity born of negative energy from the nether realm. I just. I don't understand. Elbow drop there from Reaper. I am just stunned. Look at it, it has a single it, eye. It's like it, Zako Duo, but fleshy. Oh. Elbow drop again. Oh, I never wanted to think that. Oh. Into the cover and a kick out. Oh, Josh. The only thing I need to know is after this match, do I need to go down there and smudge stick the ring? Like, I that's mean, all I'm looking for. I don't know. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get Body blow there then. from Reaper. A forearm shot. Trying to roll back in the ring. And now a side headlock. Oh, heavens to Betsy. What and a jawbreaker. Boot to the midsection. And a nice neck breaker there from Reaper. Oh, that looked that that looked good. That looked solid. That looked real that good. That was very solid. Mm-hmm. Now a back suplex. And look at this. Reaper could be in trouble. Yeah, he's going to do something. This is this is the same move that Simon does. Oh, he just kicked his head off. Oh. Into the cover. One, One two, two, out of kick out. There we go. Kick out of two. Oh, no. Kevin. Wait, this thing you. Why are we going to the top rope? Why? Why? Oh, God, the mad howl. I, I see two and mercifully it's over. Oh my God. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Here is your winner. The elder one. I, Why? Why does this exist? Why is he here? In here? Why is here? Why is? Why is here? I hate everything about everything right now. Nope, nope, get it off the screen. Oh, go to a commercial break. Just oh, go to a commercial yeah, just... break. I can't.
smarter, but have you ever heard of a school that makes you dumber? Well now you have. The School of Idiocy, aka SOI. Come into campus where we tie you down to a chair and beat you senseless. Well, my staff do, until we get the answers that we so want to hear. Jimmy, what's 9 plus 10? 9 plus 10 equals 19. Say that again. 9 plus 10 equals 21. <laughs> That's better. Book a free trial lesson with us today. We also offer remote tuition via Lowe's crappy alternative to Zoom, so long as you have your webcam on at all times, so if you get something right, we can send a glove fist right through your screen and into your face. If you're too smart for your own good, then please make an enrolment for the SOI today. 10% off your first lesson if you refer a friend. Uh, you said the first lesson was free? Shut up. Oh, sounds like a lovely bunch. And now, coming up next, we are going to find out if the former members of the cartel can hang on to their championships. The cartel defends the world tag team titles against the forces of nature. And before we send it down to the ring for this matchup, we are going to hear from the madness. Some say that I love sticking my head in the beehive. But I just can't help myself. Have any of you ever had honey? I mean, really tasted it. It's smooth, sweet, delicious. <laughs> what was my point again? Oh, right. So, what I am hoping to do here is to put my neck out for that sweet reward. Hutch! I was hoping to see you at Breakdown 7 with the hit that big bad Vicky Chan put out on your wife. I was hoping that I would get more out of you. Either you came after us or you stood up for her, but you're out messing around with Apex and Vaporwave. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed, but... I do hope you are watching our match, as I have a very special surprise just for you. Uh, Madness? Sir? We're ready for you. Oh, wonderful! If you'll excuse me, I have tests to run. Uh, sir? Are you sure this is safe? We have test dummies for a reason. You don't have to- Oh, we'll be fine. You know how the old saying goes? A man does not seek luck, luck seeks its man. Uh, with all due respect, sir, I'm not sure how that applies here- Just pull the damn trigger, Marty! Okay, sorry. I'm so, uh, what what works? Wait, what works? What works? What Why works? Did that? Uh, we we need to we need somebody to check on Marty. Is Marty okay? I, I don't even know who be, Marty is. Is he okay? Marty might be okay. We'll have somebody check on Marty. Don't worry. I'll tell you we'll, what. We'll, let's just we'll, forget we'll, that ever happened and go down to ringside. We'll, we'll, we'll be okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll be great. Yeah. Marty will be fine. Marty will be fine. Marty will be fine. Yeah. 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 Marty will be fine. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the World Tag Team Championship. And here we go, folks. Here comes the forces of nature, the challengers. Oh, yeah. Look at him go. We don't know the condition that huge main is in, but they are here to fight. They were not going to pass up this opportunity. They were not going to let Big Rock go it alone. No, they were not. And the forces of nature with an opportunity to pick up the tag team title. Rock and Tree together forever. But the Mad World is a formidable team, a former grouping with the cartel. I mean, the Mad World 
they thought had brought the tag titles home to the cartel before they turned their backs on the cartel. Mad Jester Fool, who we now know is Kuso Kale, kicking the head off a of Hutch Kale and costing him the Interdimensional Championship. That ended up around the waist of Brawl Kaiser, who will defend it against the aristocratic Kanid later tonight. But first, we're gonna see if the Madness and Kuso Kale can do some damage. And here come the champs. Here they come. I'm sorry, what? What the hell is Madness wearing? What is he wearing? Did they make Mandalorian armor? Did he make Mandalorian armor? Oh, that's, funny. that's a that is a football. Those are pat. That is not. Where did he get the helmet? That is the oh. jankiest thing. Oh, that's easy. That's Amazon. But that wow. what matching outfits for Kuso and Madness? You know, it's gonna piss off Hutch. I don't believe this. And there it is, folks. That's what it's all about. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challengers. At a combined weight of 622 pounds, the team of Big Rock and the Huge Main, the forces of nature. There they go. And introducing the champions. At a combined weight of two... Sorry, 492 pounds. The team of the Mandalorian Kuso Kale and the Madness, the Mad World. So I guess it's the Mandalorians, plural. And I'm sure Hutch is fuming somewhere. Oh, Hutch is pissed. His wife is tagging with another wannabe Mandalorian. This is just... And here we go. Here we go. Ooh, right to the dome and out of the ring. Hasn't even been 30 seconds and Big Rock's on a tear. And Big Rock is not a happy man. After Huge Main was beaten down, Big Rock trying to do whatever he can to help out. Big Rock friend you, to all. And do you hear do you hear the madness you threw that vocoder like helmet? He's saying, this is the way. This is the way. <laughs> He's just a cheeky little bastard. <laughs> and now a backbreaker. And a sweep of the leg by Kuso. There we go. And now dropping the leg across the arm. Here we are. So I guess this is what happens when you buy your Mandalorian armor from uh, the Goodwill. <laughs> oh, that Salvation Army all over, no doubt about it. Oh! Leg drop right to the to arm. arm. And Kuso dabs on him. I never thought I'd see a Mandalorian dead. These two are rubbing off on that, each other. That's we've got funny. We've got the Madness in Mandalorian armor. We've got Kuso Kale dabbing on Big Rock. What is happening? <laughs> this is... Oh my god, what is this? Alright. Throw it. Oh! oh no, he's home for that drop kick. Tag made a uh, huge, huge man. man. Now we're gonna find out what he's got. Drop kick to the knee. Just knocked over the tree. Speaking of trees, there you go. That's an arm wrench. And these two more evenly matched in terms of size and speed. Looking for the tag to madness, not to be the mad world. Looking to defend their championships once again. And now head first off the oh. turnbuckle. And there's the tag made to the Mandalorian question mark. The Side headlock. Oh, and a stomp oh. to the back of the knee. Here he goes, here comes the Mad DeLorean. Yep, the Mad DeLorean indeed. We've got the Mad DeLorean and the Dab DeLorean. <laughs> Big back oh. elbow in Zagiri. I can't wait to hear how the next promo goes. All right. Look at that arm. Ooh, man. Nice arm wrench right there. Good. 
And now knee to the face. Ooh, nice knee. And look at him sit up, madness. Shades of Hutch Kale. And now looking to pick him up. Oh. Nice shin breaker there. I, I am beside myself right now. Kick to the head. It's a party here at Breakdown 7. Into the corner. Knees. Knees. Knee to the gut. To the corner we go. Back elbow in Zagiri. Going up in. One. And a kick out. More of that to beat the inscrutable. Oh, it sure will. And a snap near there. Ooh. And now trying to pull back the Haas of Pain. The Mad DeLorean trying to wrench back. And now body shots there from Madness. Trying to fight That's Big Rock good. off. And Big Rock might have to do a lot of the heavy lifting in this match. We have no idea the condition of Huge Main. But they are out here fighting their damnedest tag made to Kuso. No blood go. loss from the Madden DeLoreans. Oh, look at this. Shades of the old lords. Oh, damn. And now into the corner we go. Body splash, nobody home. Boot to the midsection. Kicks. And now again to the corner. And now another quick tag. And they're showing why they're the tag team champions. There's that side headlock, this time on Big Rock. And again to the back of the knee. Tweeting out on social media, Lasume saying, hmm, I give the Madness's armor a six out of 10. It's a little mixed match for my taste, but the colors are really good. And remember, if you don't want your Mandalorian armor to look janky as hell, check out Lasume 01 Craftworks. Next segment. Knees! The Meteora! Oh, yeah! And now, super kick! Nice! That super back kick, kick and a tag made a huge main. Drop kick. Oh, and he got caught. Boot to the midsection. Madness. DDT, Hurricane Rana. Looking good. And now, hold on, and look at a huge man trying to fight out of this. Drop kick back to the knee. And a stomp. The master of that tree trunk submission maneuver. Oh, oh. Well, of course he'd be a master of a tree trunk submission maneuver. Look at him. He's a tree person. It's true. Tree fella. And now look at this head scissors into the canvas. Oh. Ooh. And out of the top row, this could be bad news. Bad news, Bears. The Chaos Moonsault and a connect Ooh. to retain the titles. Here comes the ref. One, two, and a kick out by Huge Main. And now elbows, fighting off the Mad DeLorean. To the corner. To the corner with them. Spear to the gut. And drops him down. Nice overhead belly to belly suplex. The Mad World won these championships in a fatal four-way match at Multivania. They ended the year-long title run of the Bone Warriors. Yeah, they did. Boot to the face. Oh, and he went for a low blow, but I think he scraped across the armor. And by armor, I mean the football pads. Head first. Tag made to Cuso. And here comes the dab DeLorean. There we Kick. go. Ooh. And a clothesline. And the elbow. Oh, yeah. And another elbow. Oh. And Cuso saying, get up. 
Huge Min trying to crawl and tag made. Here comes Big Rock. Oh, she ducked. Oh, look at the combat roll. This is looking great. And this is to retain the titles. Kusa, what a move. Two, Two. and a kick out. Oh. I was having so much fun, I forgot what the match is about for a second. Yep. And look at that. Oh, what an uppercut. Oh, just knocked nice Kuso out. There. A little bit and dazed the after that one. Is this it? Chops to Kuso. And now wrenching that arm. And there's the splash. There we go. The big splash. Will it be followed up? Into the Nothing cover. Right for that pin. Nearly 400 or 500 pounds across the chest of Kuso. Into the corner. Big Rock. Look out here. Oh, target acquired. Here comes Kuso. Oh. Close line. Ooh, very nice. So both Hutch and Kuso hitting the target acquired tonight. If you had that on your bingo card, mark it off. Oh, so that's a very specific bingo. And oh, here comes the stretch leg. muffler. Here we go. Oh! And look at this. Oh. Trying to snap the uh, the leg, but able to kick her way oh. out of it. Boot to the midsection. Into the corner. Kuso, step up kick. And a back elbow by Big Rock. Trying to use his power advantage here. And a step up, Hurricane Rana. And now jumps over and a kick right to the face. And now right hand. Luthes press. Looking Rabbit, good. this has been a hell of a match. This has been astonishing to watch. I mean, it is breakdown seven. Everybody's leaving it all on the table. Into the corner we go. Could this be it? They have it it sure is. Kuso yeah. about to be under a rock. I hope that armor's reinforced. Sits it down to win the titles. Big Rock into the cover. One, One two, two, on a kick out. And now lifting Kuso up. Trying to figure out what he wants to do. And it's gonna be a tag to Huge Main. Main into the ring now. Side headlock. Reversal by Kuso. Drop kick to the knee. Shades of Huge Main. And now kicking dirt as she looks at Big Rock all over Huge Main. And now I don't think he liked that. Back to the corner. Shoulder check, nobody home. Close line over oh, the top rope. Right off the top. And out of the oh, top rope, going? here we go. Kuso gonna oh. fly, and she Ooh. got a knee drop. All the way to the floor. And now just brawling on the outside. Shot to the face. Huge main fireman's carry by Kuso. There's a boot to the midsection. And Shades of the Madness, there's that head scissors. That's amazing. Rabbit, who do you like after over 10 minutes of this match? And we still don't have a winner. And Kuso back in the ring. Mad World. I did. Mad World soon, really. And look at good. this. Step up and a oh. Bulldog. Wow. That, yeah, that clinches the it. The wheelbarrow that. into the Bulldog. To the corner. Huge main might be about to catch this target acquired. And here she comes. Kuso looking to shut it down with a super kick. Into the That's cover. It, right? One, One two, two, and huge main will not die. Oh, hell. And so she's just gonna kick him in the face again. He's already been weakened. One, two, two three. three. And the
the Mad World retains! That, that was astonishing. Here are your winners and still World Tag Team Champions, The Mandalorian, The Madness, and Kuso Kale, The Mad World. And look at Kuso. This is astonishing. Actually, I take that back. Don't look at Kuso. I don't want to get kicked in the face. But look at The Madness go. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that was that incredible. Was, that was one for the books, I'm telling you. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, Jagger next, Blackthorn guys. to go one-on-one -on -one with the chocolate zombie Graven. And we are going to hear from Graven ahead of that match right now. Yes. All that anger, rage at Jagger for clearing his conscience. And instead of putting down the bubbly, you got to make me fight him. While well, you get to hide away on another beach, I get that I owe you, but not like this. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to fight Jagger at Breakdown 7, not because of you, but because I owe him. You know what I mean, Blackthorn. When I was in Fate, I did a lot of dumb shit, and whenever you guys told me to stop, I didn't listen to the voices wiser than me. Sometimes it worked out. Others, I made myself to be more fool than a hero. We butted heads a lot, but if there's one thing I respect about you, it's that you never gave in. You fought your battles to the end and still do now. Something we have in common. Now, I don't know what you think of me now, but at Breakdown, I'm giving you the chance to air all of your grievances. Come at me with everything you've got, because we both know I can take it. And above all, let's get that crowd the best damn match they've ever seen, where at the end of it all, one of us will be victorious while the other lays beaten and exhausted in that ring. And when I'm the last man standing, you won't have to worry about the Fae Queen, because she'll be next. So saith... The Grave Digger. And that match is next. <laughs> the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Weighing in at 255 pounds, he is the Omni Slayer, Jagger Blackthorn. There we go, Jagger Blackthorn, the Omni Slayer. Very divisive, a lot of people for him, a lot of people against him. And uh, Lady Cap Gina tweeting out on social media, Graven, if you want that poison back in you, I can do that, Graven. I wonder who Cap Jean is backing in this match. It's a yeah, I wonder mystery. indeed. It's a mystery. And Jagger does not look like he's playing around. And introducing his opponent. Weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the Chocolate Zombie, Graven! Oh, and look at the Grave Digger! Oh, I love the look. Oh, I love the look. The same look that he had when he buried Dark Lord Pretty alive. So Graven and Jagger, two former members of Fate. A group that was successful in eliminating the Empire of Terror in war games at Multivania. And now they are on opposite sides of the ring thanks to the Fate Queen.
The Omni Slayer versus White Chocolate. I assume, because if he's the chocolate zombie and he's in all white. White chocolate. Exactly. I hey. think he'd prefer the Grave Digger, but, you know. Right, right, right. Potato, potato. Ducks underneath there, looking for the leg kick. Nobody home. Jagger from are. behind. Up. And into the ropes. Oh, my God. Damn. A backbreaker from Jagger. And now look, lifting him up. Nice cradle. Down goes Graven. Drops him back down. Into the cover. And a kick out. And a back elbow blocked. Lifting up Jagger, and down he goes with a brain buster. Here we are. So who do you like between these former fate companions? I like, I like Graven. I've always liked Graven. Nice German suplex Gra there from Jagger. And a knee to the face of Jagger coming out aggressive. This whole nonsense with the Fade Queen has been haunting him for months. And now this is just the latest chapter, Graven. The person thrown in front of him on this particular day. You gotta ask yourself, how much more? How much more can Jagger take before he just confronts Kev Gina himself? Or better yet, before she confronts him? Nice shoulder breaker there, and again, another back suplex. And now a kick to the back, Raven sits up. Looking good. This is their time of year, the Omni Slayer keeping monsters and their minions down, whereas Graven is right at home among the ghouls of the graveyard. Knee to the face. I Rolls to the outside, you, back is, in. This is anyone's go, this match. And now Graven's got him a little bit perplexed, laughing at him. Oh, and a shot to the face. Graven, oh, might have got a little cocky. Mid giggle. Mid giggle. Taunt to bodied. And now here's the triangle choke. Oh, oh. Trying to take Raven out of commission. Ooh. With a strangle hold and now powering out of it. And dropping his head into the canvas. Up over the top rope we go. And down he goes. Looking for another suplex. Oh, look at the reversal. Into a reverse DDT. Jagger has Ooh. looked very good. He is not playing around. And out of the corner we go. There we are. Grabbing him, shakes him up. Ooh! A bit of a low blow there. Right to the face. Right to the face. And now just putting kicks to his body. And now dropping the leg, oh, the guillotine. Oh, ooh. Into the cover. Trying to end it in a kick out and tweeting out on social media. Michael Macabre says, I heal you to your full strength. And this is how you use that strength, getting your rotten hand handed to you by your friend. Forget the sentiment, Graven, and bury him. And coming up later tonight, Doom will defend the trio's championships against Spectre Sonata. And ladies and gentlemen, that match will be next. And now might be looking for the stand and deliver. Jagger in trouble. Oh, what an elbow. Mm. That sends Jagger to the apron. Let's see, Graven's got something set up. Here he comes. Nothing for it. And now nobody home shoulder first. Oh, and he got him. Damn. Jagger right. tossing Graven around like a sack of potatoes. And Graven trying to turn the momentum with a single leg drop kick. He's looking good. 
But if anybody knows Graven, it's going to be Jagger. These two were teammates for months. And oh! That was using the ropes to his advantage. Oh, that was. That was very clever. Up! One! And a cover and a kick out. And out of the top rope. Oh, nice elbow. Looking great. Poking him up. Oh, and a smash. There's a kick to the face. Into the corner. Drop kick. Boot to the midsection. Right hand. Oh, hell of a right hand. Oh. And a kick. Oh. oh, here it is. The barbaric barrage. Down goes Graven. Good night. Thanks Good for night. playing. Oh, but it kicked oh, out. Oh, hell. And now Jagger with the boot. Now looking to do some damage. He is poised and ready. Here comes the God Slayer Strike. He's got to be done after that. One, One two, two, no. Oh, hell's bells. Raven has been getting his butt handed to him, but he is resilient. Now a sweep of the leg. Looking for the shot to the face. Into the ropes we go. And out of the outside. Oh. Oh, Jagger. Oh. Look at him, just oh. lighting him up with these strikes. Oh. oh, damn. And now a jawbreaker. And a DDT. Nice DDT. Another stomp to the face. Trying to stretch out Jagger up, here. Here we go. Look at him tearing back the face. Sweep of the leg. And now more body blows. Jagger saying, I dare you to block one of these. Raven's out on his feet. Oh, look at the Ooh. kick. And now a right hand, you can hear him screaming at Jagger to hit him harder. And I'm trying to put that foot in there, and Jagger says, fine, I'll hit you again. Face first into the canvas. And Jagger's beating the hell out of Graven. Look, Graven likes it. Oh, no, no, he's going right after the arm. And pulling back. And now Graven with a jawbreaker. And a step up in Zagiri. Sends him down onto the canvas. Turns him over. And now putting his legs. Oh, his knees into the canvas. All that weight oh, across damn. the knees. Now kicks, punches. Still to come later tonight, the World Heavyweight Championship. Victor Vicious challenges Nero Napier. Brawl Kaiser defends the Interdimensional Championship against the Aristocratic Canid. Coming up next, Doom will defend the trio's titles against Spectre Sonata. A triple threat match between Blight Howlis, Suicide Gemini, and Johan Mjoln. And Sheer Khan takes on Kevin Blackwell in an Extreme Rules Falls Count Anywhere match. There it is. Stand and deliver, but Jagger just popped right up. He did not stay down. Right to the corner. And Graves oh, is just fine. Nice he has a couple torpedo. shoulder checks for you. 
And again, Jagger blocked the boot. Shots to the body, right hand to the face. Into the cover. Two, the barbaric barrage is not enough. What is no, it going to take? Not enough. What is it? Like, honestly, at this point, what, what the hell is it going to take? Brave into the corner, clothesline, nobody home. Oh, look out here. Here it is. Oh. Stand and deliver a second time. That's astonishing. A second stand and deliver. One, two, two. and out of nowhere, Craven steals a win. Craven takes it. Here is your winner, the Chocolate Zombie, Craven. It took two seek and destroys. Oh, it takes two seek and destroys. But Graven continues to make Halloween his time of year. Absolutely. That's way to beat Graven with a stick while he's sleeping. But in Halloween, he is unbeatable. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, we promise you Doom versus Spectre Sonata. And Doom has a very special message for them. Let's take a listen. Mm -hmm. Spectres, it seems our absence has made you brave. Normally, I'd come out here and weave a tale about how you will try and fail to get our titles. But you said something that made me put away that bedtime story. Instead, let's talk about... Dreams. Dreams are something that I enjoy. Mine or others. Dreams are a manifestation of your subconscious. They show our strengths and wants, but they can also show our fears and weaknesses. And that brings me to what you said. You want Doom's full power. That confidence does it come from the dreams you see while you sleep? I wonder, go ghosts. I look forward to break down. Let's see if this confidence from your dreams is real. Or will it simply be a nightmare in disguise? Good night. And happy Halloween. Ladies and gentlemen, I couldn't think of a more appropriate match for Halloween. Doom versus Spectre Sonata, and it's next! The following contest is scheduled for one fall, and it is for the Trio's Championships. Introducing the challengers. The team of the Bad CG Ghost, the Punk Master Goach, and TK, Spectre Sonata! There we go! Here we Spectre go, Rabbit. Sonata, baby! It is showtime. Oh, oh, I'm excited. So the ghost versus the demons. This is going to be awesome.
And introducing the challenger, or the champions. At a combined weight of 702 pounds, the team of Michael Macabre, the Night Reaper Zericus, and the Pumpkin King Magic. They are the trio's champions. Do! Oh, yes. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, how very good it is. Impressive. So it looks like Doom heeded the words of Spectre Sonata. A traditional three on three, nothing outwardly extra spooky about this. And this might be the only team that would ever be able to call Doom's bluff. I'm excited to see just how this goes, buddy. I, I am too. And ladies and gentlemen, before we start this match, Spectre Sonata has a very special message that they would like for everyone to see. Tell you what, that was impressive. That was. They have a band. They have a band I, we now. Got a, we got a free performance. I mean, the there could not be more contrasted teams than Doom and Spectre Sonata. You have the epitome of creep and the epitome of cute. It's true. It's true. That is very true. So when when are we gonna have the crossover between the Toxic Wastelanders? And Spectre Sonata, or the all of the Roughnecks. Oh, that'd be fun. Can I get my country rock EDM fusion? 
Is that a thing? <laughs> well, it's a thing now. I mean, it's it's been a thing for a while. I just... This is just... I Words. Words escape me. And ladies and gentlemen, that means it is now time for the trio's championship match. Let's take you back to how we got here. Spectre Sonata going through all the other trio's teams. They were able to survive one-on-one -on -one matches, two-on-two -two matches, and eventually a three-on-three -three match to qualify to face Doom on a Halloween. It's the Ghosts and the Demons. Three-on-three -three championships on the line. Rabbit, I got to ask you, who do you like? I like Spectre Sonata in this one. That was Going nice. for the upset. They made a song. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't the fancier entrance normally lose? <laughs> you ask me that. You ask me that with my fancy entrances. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right. But you, you, I want them to win. <laughs> as they, uh, you know, as they are apt to do. Yeah, exactly. I, I want them to win, so they, they they're gonna win. So there. <laughs> that's that's fair. I guess I can't really argue with that logic. No, it's you just can't. hard for me to pick against Doom on Halloween. Then again, it's hard for me to pick against Spectre Sonata on Halloween. How do you pick? Can they both win? Is that a thing? Only also, where all... has Doom been? Uh, also, oh, Peru. But anyway, Peru. I maybe Peru. Peru's in a way to win the match coming up. Oh, oh, oh see that? Yeah. Snap. Oh, I can't oh, believe it. Got it, got it again. I can't believe how clever you are. Oh, thank you. It's just, thank it's you. impressive. Thank you. And here we go, folks. Off and running. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Nice break. Oh, wow. PM goes just threw away Macabre. That's, ooh. And now PM goes taking on Michael Macabre. Down he goes. Mad Jack being kicked by the bad CG goes. Doom, of course, won those championships from VIP. After they screwed Meme out of them to put the belts on VIP, allegedly. Allegedly. We're still waiting wait, wait. to find that footage. We're not really sure where it is. Although, if you were curious and there was footage of it, it might be on the YouTube channel. Oh! Multiverse Nexus Wrestling on YouTube. It's on YouTube now. Nice drop kick there by TK. There we go. And now there's a suplex by Mad Jack. Oh, over the top rope goes Macabre. And Punk Master rolling, rolling, rolling towards the side of the ring. <laughs> <laughs> and tweeting out on social media the chocolate zombie grave been saying i gave you what you wanted fake queen now put the glass put down the glass and face jagger or i'll find you and drag you into that ring myself oh Ooh. okay half nelson suplex there by tk nice i was just told an uh, interesting fact tell me your interesting Apparently, Doom has been champions for over 200 days mm -hmm. from Easter to Halloween. Such contrasting holidays. Ah, Easter. That's yeah, when I'm at the height of my power. 210 days to be exact. It's amazing. I'm at the height of my power on Easter. It is. It's impressive until you realize that uh, we have a near 400 day reign if you count Nero Napier's World Heavyweight Championship reign. Yes, absolutely. And now Mad Jack with a headbutt to TK off the middle rope. That, wow. <laughs> okay. And now face first off the canvas goes Punk Master Ghost. Mad Jack might be looking to end this here for bad CG Ghost. Oh. Uh, 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 no, uh, CG uh, moved uh, out of the way. Might have been looking for the All Hollows knee on All Hollows Eve. To the corner we go. Mad Jack against the Neko Cat TK. Springboard, rolling it in. Oh, there's the sunset flip. 
Oh. Everybody else is on the outside. TK looking to dump Mad Jack. This oh. would be a huge start to the match. Oh. Macabre oh. saves it for his team. Saves the day. That was almost disastrous. That was astonishing. And now TK trying to take care of Macabre, who DDTs her into the canvas. And now to the corner. Here we go, TK Back elbow from Zerikus. Oh, what a clothesline by the Night Reaper. Locking horns. Night Reaper goes, oh, goes, everybody out of the way. Oh, hollows oh, knee. CG Every Ghost goes down, but Magic took the brunt of it. Up. And Magic wants to try again. Zarek is waiting in the wings. Oh, nobody oh. home. Now Zarek is going to try. He's going to give it a shot. Oh, and he connects. Oh, he got it. But look at TK off the top rope with the Spanish fly. That's amazing. But Zarek is right there with the dragon suplex. And now look at Bad CG Ghost. Phantom Factory. That's astonishing. Into the cover. One, two. two. Oh, he kicked out. Oh, he broke out. Look at PM Ghost, the drop kick. Oh, nice. Springboard drop kick, and he's got Macabre down. Looking good, looking good. Good stuff so far. Liking what I see. We got Mad Jack now against TK. Boot to the face. Oh, yes, it is. Jack's knife. And now Zarekis with the Nightmare Neckbreaker. Ooh. And Doom trying to regain control of this match. Yeah, they are. I'd say we're doing a pretty good job of it so far. Boot to the midsection. CG Ghost might be having nightmares, looking for the Fever Dream, but he's able to fight out of it. And now TK is trying to get rid of one of these Doom members. It's three on two. The PM goes catching his breath on the outside. Here comes the Phantom Factory. Down goes the Night Reaper. Ooh. And there's the Uranagi from Michael Macabre. And now TK is up and DDT. Into the cover. And broken up by Ghost of the PM variety. And look at CG. Where is CG going? Mad oh, Jack where is he going? up on the top rope. Superplex and the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter on Macabre. Right. Nowhere to go. But look at him able to snake through that. I don't know how he contorted like that. Benefits of being a skeleton, I guess. I'm telling you. And a back suplex to Macabre. Lift it up. Oh, and a right first. hand. Right and all over, over the top rope goes Macabre. Oh, oh, what a kick in Zagiri. Night Reaper tried to run in and got caught. Boot to the midsection. TK reversed. Right now the Ghosts are tag teaming Macabre. And here comes Mad Jack to help out. Zarekis turning TK around in the corner. Back elbow. And whoa, sending Zarek is flying. Mad Jack laid out. And there's the quick cover. Two and a kick out by the Night Reaper. Looking good. Good. Macabre was a half second late, but Zarek is able to kick out. And there's a super kick to the gut. And a brain buster to Zarek. Everybody's down. Oh, look at Macabre. Up, up, oh. PM Ghost going for up. the ride. There's Jack's knife. Oh, and the reversal. Macabre just got reversed. The Soul Reaver did not connect. And now to the outside. What's he doing? Well, What's you know what doing? you do on Halloween. You go trick or treating. Here comes the trick or treat. The corkscrew. Oh. Cross body. PM is down. CG crawling. Trying to get there. No. The Punk Master Ghost has been eliminated. Here we go. And now CG trying to style on him. Down goes Mad Jack.
And now to the corner. Zerikis back in the ring. CG goes with a boot to the midsection. Trying to take out Zerikis. Oh, the knees to the back. A phantasmal force, but it's not good enough to keep him down as Macabre's all over it. And now here, oh, down goes Macabre. Into the cover. And a kick out. So Zerika survives the Ghost Buster. Just as PM Ghost survived the Soul Reaver, but not for long. Absolutely. Doom has claimed one of their three souls this Hollow's Eve. Nice flash back there from Zerikis going to the top rope. Looking for the clean sweep. And look at them just beating the crap out of CG. Just oh, and the clothesline. Oh. But nobody home. And here it comes. Phantom Factory. Nice. Oh, here Into the Zerikis cover. Up. And broken and up. They just waited for him. Sure did. And now TK, oh, sending Mad Jack down. And now letting him roll to the outside. Zerikis and Macabre doing some work on TK. Look out here. Oh, the reversal. And the Russian leg sweep. And now TK with an opportunity to even the odds. Boot to the midsection. Here it comes. Here it comes. TKO. Ooh. Zerikis is down, oh, but the reversal. That could have been it. Vector Sonata has got to get an elimination or they're gonna be in trouble. Zerikis coming up on top. Night Reaper looking for the GNT leg drop. Good uh. night. Can CG get there? One, two, and broken up. And now a right hand to Zerikis. Looking for the Ghostbuster to Zerikis. And now Jack's knife, maybe, to TK. And down goes CG Ghost. And now TK, roll up. Roll up on TK, and CG's all over it. Well, that's going to allow Zerikis, again, the numbers game. Look at that corkscrew back suplex. Down goes Macabre. And a sweep of the leg. Zerikis goes down. And now Ghost trying to thin the ranks. Super kick missed on TK. Into the ropes. Into the corner. And now here goes Macabre down. TK has got a chance if she can eliminate Bad Jack. Trying to headbutt TK, and that's a distraction. From behind, here comes Ghost. Here comes Ghost. Here comes the Phantom Factory. This would even it up. It would Here get rid of go. the team captain. Here we go. And now TK into the cover. One, two, two. tie ball game. There Magic has been eliminated. It there is two v two. Sonata is still alive. And now swatted away by Zerikis. Right hands. Macabre and Zerikis without the Pumpkin King. Can they hold on to these titles? Down goes the ref. TK to the corner. Lifting up Zerikis. Going for the high risk move. Here we go. Up. Oh. Not a top rope TKO. Look at this. Oh, oh my God! Zerikis is down. Oh, he's got to be one, done. two, you. throw! Oh my oh. God! I don't believe it. And now it's Macabre's turn. Could be in some trouble. Phantom Factory to Macabre. Ooh. TK's got the ghost He's down. He's got to be done. He's got to be One, done. One, two, two. Throw. Doom is oh, resilient as oh, all get out. I'll tell you what. Spectre Sonata giving them everything that they can. 
And now they got a two on one advantage. Uppercut to CG Ghost. And drops him down. And now from behind, German suplex the power of little TK. And now the ankle lock. Ankle lock on Macabre, but broken up by Zarekis. And now from behind, setting TK to the outside. And now back in the hard way. And now saying he's gonna drop the leg. Here goes Zarekis with the leg drop. That's go. the first one, and now going for the second. Here we go. The guillotine Even leg go. drop. I don't know what he's waiting for. I think he's watching to see what Ghost does. And the, oh, he waited oh. too long. TK moved. And here it comes. TKO. Down goes Ericus. He paid the piper on that one. Yeah, he did. Oh, but he yeah, reversed. He oh, the knee. And there goes the Ghostbuster to Macabre. Oh my God. And now boot to the midsection. The numbers game. CG Ghost about to have a fever dream. Ooh. And now into the cover. One, two, and he kicked out. And he was going for it again. TK with a half Nelson. Up over the top rope. Oh, what a kick. Here we go. TKO. Here you are. Into the cover again. One, two. Oh, and Macabre saved it for his team. And now trying to get rid of the skeleton. Face first into CG's foot. Ugh. And now she gets kicked away. And stomping on the arm. And now, oh, what an uppercut! Good night, Zarekis! And now German! Oh. Look at the German, the power! Wow, the power of that She can hit. barely get him up. And now look out here, looking for his own German! And down goes TK, body shot! Russian leg sweep! And now Zarekis has got him up, looking for the nightmare neck breaker! Oh. And now immediately into the cover. Can CG kick out one more time? No. No. The bad CG ghost has been eliminated. And now look at Zarekis watching on the Soul Reaver. TK is up. Up. And down. Down. Into Here the cover. The one, one, two. two. Yes! Yeah, Doom retains! Dude. Here are your winners and still the trio's champions! Michael Macabre, the Night Reaper Zarekis, and the Pumpkin King Magic! And there's the two surviving members of Team Doom, Zarekis and Macabre. Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, wow. That's a nice one. What a match. I'll tell you what, that was incredible, Rabbit. That 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 was bonkers. It, it, it was bonkers. 
I'm going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs over here. <laughs> You're going to hit me with that cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. You know it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a hell of a match that was. That was something else. And ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, a grudge match for the ages. An Extreme Rules Falls Count Anywhere match. Sheer Khan goes one-on-one -on -one with Kevin Blackwell. And that grudge match is next. Next. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match scheduled for one more. Introducing first, weighing in at 355 pounds, he is the gladiator, Kevin Blackwell. There we go, he's a big boy, and he's really big and scary. And tweeting out on social media, Michael Macabre saying, inevitability is a thing on all hollows. It was the apocalypse. Spectre Sonata, out of respect, you won't join my collection. Just remember the one commandment, thou shall not mess with doom. Although I gotta admit, I really do like uh, Kevin Blackwell's fit on Halloween. That's crazy. I mean, I like yeah, this. one versus all is his thing. Oh, man. Dude looks like he's head of a Slayer's Guild out in Lumbridge. It's crazy. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> maybe that's why. Maybe that's why I got the Gladiator stretched so bad. I'm not messing with Lumbridge. But Kevin Blackwell has not had a great track record at pay-per-views, and he would love to change that here tonight. But he's going to have to go through Sheer Khan to do it. Oh, man. Kevin Blackwell, who ripped the mask off of Shere Khan and put him out of action for almost half a year. Almost and now he's going to pay the piper. Yeah. And introducing his opponent, weighing in at 222 pounds, he is the king of the jungle, Shere Khan. So Shere Khan said that he didn't get his fill the last time he fought Blackwell. It was too easy. So here we go. Extreme rules. Falls count anywhere. This is going to be bonkers. Rabbit, who do you like? Shere Khan. Shere Khan in this one. He's got to get his redemption in. Oh, yeah. We saw Bulldog get off the schneid against Jack the Questionable. This is the other half of that equation. And here we go. Here we go. And Let's immediately go. out of the gate, spinning wheel kick right to the face. Boot Ooh. to the midsection. Khan is cooking. And an uppercut. And now look at the springboard DDT, oh my Here we go. goodness. Oh, hell. Wasted no time. And then immediately on the attack, there's a head scissor to Blackwell. Oh man, how do you like that armor trimming, Blackwell? And now trying to just get away. Oh, he got caught again. Oh, oh got caught. DDT. Ooh, another DDT, he's coming in hot, boiling. Oh yeah. Body shots, chops, lefts, rights, into the corner. Oh, and he's pulling him out of the corner the hard way, and face first into the canvas.
And now driving the elbow right to the sternum. And now lifting him up. Oh, I thought he might have been going for the Gladiators March. Oh, and hung him up on the ropes. And out of the corner we go. And a spear in the corner, driving the shoulder. This is, this is good stuff. This is good stuff right now. And now jumping over the top rope, what has Blackwell got in mind? Oh, what's he doing? It's a hardcore match. This is no hold bars. That's a whole ladder. Oh, but Sher Khan caught it. Knocks him down. Knocks down Blackwell. Oh, this is cathartic. Oh. He's setting it up. Oh, what do we got in mind here? Where the hell is Khan going? Doing? All the way to the top of the ladder. Flying Tiger. Ten Flying feet in tiger. the air. Hurricane run into the oh ropes. Oh, my God. Shere Khan is flying all over the place. Look at him go. And now face first into the ladder goes Blackwell. And now into the ladder again. And he's saying, stay down. And out of the corner he goes. Looking for yet oh. another DDT. Oh, DDT. Tornado variety into the ladder. Oh, hell. And Blackwell looks oh. like he might have gotten run over by a train. Shit. There's the leg oh. drop. Springboard leg drop. Someone didn't train agility. Nice judo oh. toss there. And again, another judo toss. And finally, Blackwell able to get something in there. No! Oh! Oh, what a spine buster! Hell and immediately goes for an here. equalizer. Thinking about his decisions right now, and he says, you know what? Forget it. And now a right hand to Sheer Khan, sending him to the outside. Now Blackwell has the ladder. Oh, God. Well, one good crump deserves another, I guess. Yep. And again, face first into the ladder. And another spine buster Whoa. this time oh. on the concrete. That padding oh, is not damn. very thick. And Legs looks on. And he's telling Khan and to get up. If I was Legs, I, I wouldn't want to And a to shoulder either. breaker. Oh, damn. Elbow dropped to Khan. And face first off the Videotron ring post there. And now into the steps. Oh, damn. Oh, and Blackwell has evil intentions. Yeah, he does. Oh, he's picking up one of those bronze stairs. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. Oh, oh, no, and he sandwiched them. Sheer Khan sandwiched between the two steps. Like and Shere Khan stare. is not moving. That yeah, looks like solid bronze. Oh, God. And he's daring Khan to get up. Oh, hell. Look at, I, I, if I was Blackwell, I would not be taunting. I would be doing something. Oh, the spirit of the steps. Uh, you asked for him oh, to do he something. just speared him on the steps. Oh, my goodness. Oh! Oh, he is... Oh, he's moving. I mean, barely. He's trying to... He's using the steps to pull himself up. Oh, he has Oh, no, 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 headshot! Oh, shit! Right to the dome, man. And he just laid him out. 
And now Blackwell just walking away. Khan just, just trying to pick away. himself up. What's he doing? What? what oh, he he's, he's going to the uh, the electronics pit. He and he's dropping that a... kendo stick. He and he's daring him to come over here. Oh, he wants to glad he wants a gladiators. Khan was like, you he's come over here, people. and you know what? I think Khan is just pissed off at this point. And here he goes. Oh, oh but Blackwell had an equal. Oh, he ducked underneath. Oh. oh. And this is exactly where Blackwell wants it. And right, right off of that here. equipment crate. And a big uppercut into it. Oh, Jesus. And now another trash can. And the baseball back to the spine and the gut. This is, he's just unrelenting. And now into the guardrail and face first off the steel. And now body shots. Oh, this is rough. This is rough. And now look out here, head scissors. Oh, into the trash can. Jeez. Wow. He's and now it's Khan's turn. Shot to the back. Oh, right in the back. And now right to the chest. He moves. Oh, but again to the back. And now the kendo stick that Blackwell wanted to use. Off the body. You can just hear the crack of every shot. Oh, damn. Throws it down. And now oh, he's thinking about the bat, maybe. Oh, oh, boom. Oh, he run out of the way. Oh, he dodged that one, too. Oh, he didn't dodge that one. Nope. And now he's oh, going to pay right for it. Just blasting him three times. And now into the table again. And look out here. Oh, the poison Rana. And I think his head might have bounced off that chair. Ooh. And now the judo toss through the table. And another judo toss. And now Sheer Khan looking at the people. They're telling him to keep on the attack. Everyone is howling for this man's blood. You see the referee out there to make the three count if necessary. Sheer Khan catching a back elbow. Neither one of them have attempted a pinfall yet. Spear! Ooh! That spear with them horns. Just ran him right through. And now right hands, body shots. There's a right hand, Shere Khan counters and they're fighting the people. More body shots, sending Blackwell into the crate. And Blackwell doesn't know where the hell he is. No, he doesn't. Hurricane Rana. That ought to remind him. And Blackwell trying to get the hell out of Dodge. I think he's had enough. Oh, and he caught Shere Khan. And I'm just beating the hell out of him. Right hand, right hand, punches. Right hand again. Oh, it sends him over the barricade. Holy shit. Oh, but Shere Khan got caught. He got the chair right to the dome. Oh. Blackwell took advantage of the chair that Shere Khan left behind. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. boy. We've seen him use those steps before. The bronze again. He tried to kill Ginger Boy with those steps. And a throw oh, Samoan drop into the steps. Khan is again oh. not moving. Judo toss. No, it's oh. a belly to belly. These two are trying to kill each other. Into yeah, the ring we are. go. Oh, 
This is astonishing. Oh, and he threw oh. him off the steps. Just a despicable act. Shere Khan doesn't know where he is, and he staggers back to his feet with some help from Blackwell up over the top rope. And Blackwell's going to bring him in the hard way. Oh! Deadlift vertical suplex from the apron. To the corner we go. Oh no, come on. Sheer oh. Khan in a bad way. He's all the way up on the top rope. Sheer Khan! Oh, oh the yeah. head Nelson! And now just trying to think about what he wants to do. Oh, oh, off the stairs! Oh, God! Oh, oh my, my dear God. Lord in heaven! Oh, oh, oh I heard the skull off the steel! Right off this corner, too! Oh, he's got a table. Oh, but he thought better of it. What's he doing? What's he doing? Oh. What's he doing? What's he doing? I have no idea what he's doing. And now picking him up, you're a noggy, and that is on the concrete. This match has been insane. This. And now this, off the steps again. This is crazy. Shere Khan oh. was like a house of fire to start. But now Blackwell has worn him down. Oh, no. Oh, oh God, no. Anger. No, oh, Blackwell no. threw the barricade. Oh, oh shit. Khan just trying to figure out where the hell he is. And now tripping up. Oh, looking for some kind of suplex. Khan able to reverse. And into the into the barricade head first goes Blackwell. And look out here, Tiger Bomb! Tiger bomb on the concrete! Oh my god. And now Shere Khan, the first pinfall! The Tiger Bomb! One, two, and he kicked out! And now Khan sending him into the steps. And now again, into the ring we go. In and in Zagiri. That's astonishing. Oh, into the steps. Shere Khan doing whatever he can, Hurricane Rana. And another, oh, he got caught! Power bomb! Sheer Khan might have got a little too cute. And now Blackwell maybe looking for the spear. Yeah, it looks like he's lining it up. Looking to pierce the heart of the king of the jungle. The gladiator, off the ropes. Oh, and a boot right to the gut. And now slides underneath, and do you see him kick the steps out of the ring? Yeah, I did. That. Oh, God, there's just so much hate in this ring right now. And now Khan to the corner. Oh, no, this is, this is, oh, he's trying to rip the mask off. He's going for the mask again. He's going for the mask again. Oh, and it stays on, but he was trying to rip it off one more time. And Khan has had enough. Hurricane Rana, or rather, head scissors. Here we go, shake him off. And here it comes! Tiger Bomb! Look at that! Tiger Bomb and now looking for the 630! Shere Khan gonna fly! Finish him! 
Oh no, he got caught! Oh, he got oh. caught! Oh. He was looking for the Tiger Splash, the 630, and here comes the Gladiators March! He got caught out of midair! Oh. Down goes Todd! One, One two, two, and got him! Three. Oh my god! Here is your winner, the Gladiator, Kevin Blackwell. Oh, I don't oh believe hell. it. That's After everything wow. that Shere Khan has been through, this is ridiculous. This is good. What the? Oh, my Lord. What is that? Oh, God. Tiger Bomb. What the hell is that? That's a big thing. That is a big tiger. That is a That's tiger. A tiger oh, God. I'm sorry. What? Boot to the. Oh, wait a second. I just. Remember when Blight Howlis attacked Shere Khan like two years ago? Oh, God. Over the top rope. Right hand. What? Don't tell Nero. Shere Khan is pulling Blackwell apart piece by piece. And there's another boot. And another boot. Look at the size of this thing. And a kick to the gut. Blackwell just trying to get out from underneath that foot. Shere Khan. I think that's Shere Khan. Oh, my God. The power. That is 320-something pounds. Oh, and an oh, uppercut. Oh, with that uppercut. Oh. He's got him. He's lifting him up. He's telling him to get He's up. Oh, look at the oh. power. And down goes Blackwell. Oh, oh. And road. now Blackwell is not moving. Oh, God. Frost those flakes, man. Blackwell might have won the battle, but Shere Khan is winning the war. Oh, God. Oh, no. Shere Khan, please. All right, enough. All right, I get it. He tried to take your mask, but enough is enough. Oh, God. Oh, they're going up. They're going up. Shere Khan. Kevin Blackwell Tigers. all the way to the top rope. Tigers. There he goes. Oh, the step. Oh, God, the ring. Oh, my God, the ring has just collapsed. Oh, my God. The ring has just collapsed. Both Holy men are down. Shit. No one is moving. Oh, my Lord in heaven. Oh, oh, that man got bent. That man got banished to the Shadow Realm is what happened. Dear oh, God. God. Holy shit. I don't have words. Holy shit on a I mean, shingle. I mean, the, the medical personnel don't even know what to do. They're trying to attend to this massive tiger. Blackwell hasn't moved. The referee is down. And that was onto the steel steps. Blackwell crushed and burned. Eat. Crushed and burned nothing. That dude fucking sundered. Oh. That guy is a molecule of his former self. Oh. And we're not even done tonight. I just. How are we going to get a new ring? Do you know what? Give me a second. I'm going to build a new ring. Hold do you know? On. A, do you know a guy? I got tools. It's under the desk. Hold on. All right. Just, well, well, coming up later tonight, minute. Nero Napier is going to defend his World Heavyweight Championship, and someone has a very special message for them. Let's hear from Maximilian Thunderthighs. This is an official call out to my trading buddies and friends at Apex. Due to some changes of loyalties being complex, 
I have to declare a statement, a passage, oh, a message okay. to thee. We're good. I We're cannot good. support the vile barnyards animals of Apex, you see. I will not deny your strength. Like your smell, it's strong. But it's time for a true faction leader to rule. Your reign was too long. Now make way for the strongest team you all crave. I speak, of course, the hottest team, Vaporwave. Like many good teams, all the facts are true. And sorry, Crimson Phoenix, Apollo Hades is hotter than you. And Nero Napier, the champ, it was a boring run. I'm sorry, Snake Boots, but your time is done. So, there you have it. Maxis support, Vaporwave. That's a guarantee from your loving sister faction, VIP. Thank you, and good night. What, what are they doing on Warzone? What happened to Max? Oh. I, Rabbit, are you done with the ring yet? Yeah, yeah, I just came back. It's good. We're good. Okay. It's all good. All right, that was... Ladies Wait, and gentlemen, coming up next, triple threat action. Blight Howlis, Johan Mjoln, and Suicide Gemini square off. There's a lot to talk about. Let's set it down to the ring for the introductions. The following contest is a triple threat match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Weighing in at 315 pounds, he is the son of thunder, Johan Mio! There he is! That is a man who has a lot of anger in his heart for one man. Suicide Gemini, who you could argue cost him his opportunity at Nero Napier. Yeah, yeah, you can. Johan took his eyes off the prize and Nero capitalized. So Johan now will finally get an opportunity to put down Gemini, but there's gonna be one other person involved, someone who might have an equal claim to despising the homicidal, suicidal Gemini. <laughs> and here comes the man, the myth, the legend himself. And introducing second, weighing in at 205 pounds, he is the homicidal, suicidal Gemini! There he is, the man who's been a giant board in a lot of people's sides. Uh, almost everyone's side. He Lots poisoned a member of Apex. Two, well, Wiley was not really a member of Apex, but he poisoned multiple people. He did! He had the is... outlaws run over Punkmaster Ghost as a red herring! Deluna's mask, a red herring, inflicting pain, all to get it Nero. Why don't you just challenge him? You know, we gotta poison all and sundry. And now it's time, it wouldn't be Halloween without the Wolfman. And introducing third. Weighing in at 337 pounds, representing Apex Flight, Holy! There he is, damn, that's a big dog. Uh, yeah. And Blight Hallis was the man that was poisoned by Suicide Gemini. 
and both he and Johan have wanted to get their hands on him, but they've been distracted with each other. Compliments of Mr. Gemini. But tonight, there's nothing standing between them and him except each other. And we're gonna see how that plays out. Can they coexist to take their pound of flesh each? Or is the rage burning so hot that they will kill each other to get at him? <laughs> and here we go here we and go. i think that answers our question how let's go right nope. after mjold and look at gemini just watching oh and a close Ooh. line And now a drop kick. Howlis says, excuse you. And our right hand. So I got a uh, I got a question for you. A wolf man, a demigod, mm -hmm. and a masochist walk into a bar. Mm -hmm. Only Gemini refuses to duck. <laughs> oh! Down yeah. goes Howlis! <laughs> Here we go. Oh god! And a clothesline to Gemini! Here. He is loving those clotheslines over to Gemini. And now body blows from Howlis. Here we go. Looking good. Squumping up. Oh, but a rake against the back. And oh, and oh. drops him. And Gemini trying to be resourceful as they attack each other. He attacks them. Oh, look at the power hanging blight out to dry. And there's the boot to the face. Two of the men that Gemini screwed over, each one with a claim to their pound of flesh on his body. And now a kick to the back. Mm -hmm. And a clothesline over the top oh! rope. Clothesline and off he goes. And now again, the two behemoths going at each other. Looking good. Into the that cover. Pin. Didn't think much was going to come of that. And I think a lot of this has to do over recent weeks, they've been forced to interact with each other, forced to fight each other. Johan doesn't exactly like Apex, and uh, Blight doesn't exactly like Johan. It just so happens there's a... Oh, another person in this equation, and he just sling-bladed Blight Howlis, and that would be Gemini. That was a nice whip crack. Oh, nice neck breaker. And I'm trying to wrench in the face. the face. Just trying to break him in half. And I shakes him off. Kick him side of the leg. We already know that Gemini has tried to attack Nero at his home in the bayou. And mm -hmm. as of late, the Minotaurs have been on duty there, making sure that no ill comes to their homeland. Which I assume is why they haven't been around, because they had to be there. Because That's Gemini true. and the Outlaws are always looming. They can't be in two places at once. That is true. They and earlier today, places, we know the once. Outlaws did take a trip to the Bayou, and uh, the Bulls were having none of it. They might still be brawling out in the swamps. Ooh, swamp match. Can you imagine? What if I asked Lost in the real nice swamp? Oh, anyway. oh, was looking for the pounce, but Johan said not today. And now hanging Hallis out to dry. And he rolls all the way underneath into the cover. Into the cover, one. And a kick oh, out. Kick out one again. Blight Hallis won't be stopped. This time last year, Blight Hallis was still undefeated. And we saw him on a full moon be put down by the Dragonborn Wiley in that interdimensional championship match. Yes. Wiley becoming the inaugural champion. But what a match those two had. It took a top oh. rope. Power bomb in order to put him down. Nice kicks. Kick to the side. Locking horns. Doing Sweep the leg. Getting these. And now Johan wants a piece of Gemini. And a drop kick. Ooh. Still to come, ladies and gentlemen, Brawl Kaiser to defend the Interdimensional Championship against 
the aristocratic cane of that match will be next. And then our main event, Miro Napier versus Victor Vicious. I, words. That, it's gonna be crazy. It, it's just gonna be completely off the chain. Nice right hand. And a nice oh, neck breaker. Nice neck breaker. And now up and a DDT to Gemini. And now Blight Hall is the werewolf trying to take out the Son of Thunder, the demigod. And down goes Mjoln. And that leaves Howlis alone with the man, that poison that took his lycanthropy away from him. Into the corner, nobody home. Blight, grabbing him by the face, the claws. And you can see Gemini oh. smiling. Oh. And the howl from Howlis. And into the corner we go. Side. Back Ooh. elbow, runs him nice. over. But here comes Johan. And a clothesline to Gemini. And Mjold sent into the corner. And now beating the drums of war. War drums to Blight. And stacking them up. And Gemini Stand had to roll out of the one. way. Otherwise Two. he was going to get pinned and Blight kicks oh. out. Right at the wire. Right at the wire. And Gemini trying to pick his spots as these two. Oh, and the ref goes down. Oh, oh he caught legs. Well, Very that. Good legs. Johan moved out of the way, and the ref caught all of that shoulder check from Blight. And now maybe looking to pounce on Johan. Here we go. And he got him. He got him. And now immediately turns to Gemini. Good Lord! Both of these men despise him. And now look at Gemini trying to steal the cover off the pounce, but there's no referee. I can sense a theme of Gemini being sneaky. Right hand from Mjold. Close line to Gemini. And he'll roll out of the ring. And now Johan stands alone. So he's gonna come Gemini on down. Says, no, I don't oh, want to be out there. I'm good. Don't blame you. Understandable. Have a good day. And now shoves Gemini to the floor. Lady kept Gina oh. tweeting out on social media. Are you threatening me with a good time, Graven? If so, by all means, try it, chocolate zombie. I like biting chocolate. You look rather tasty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Johan. And look at Johan. Gemini all, all the way to the up. outside. Superplex. Oh. Damn! And Blight says, wait, I want a piece. Frequent flyer miles in need. Zounds. Blight looking for his pound of flesh. Left hand. And look at Johan saying, go for it. Head first off the steps. Ooh. And now Johan going after Blight. They each got their uh, their turn and now back to each other. This is a Ooh. triple threat match. One Ooh. fall to a finish. Elvis with a gut. Body blows there from Mjoln. Into the ring we go. I think I read a saga like this. Let's see. And a and splash on a Mjoln. Oh, a splash. I knew I was going to do a splash and Gemini on Gemini content just to uh, stay out of harm's way and avoid Blight. And now Blight catching a left hand from Gemini. Suicide Gemini with a boot and a bicycle kick. Oh, nice. Kick to the head, Howlis. Oh, what a roundhouse off the springboard. Damn. And now turns the tension, here comes Mjol. Gemini trying to fight back. I think he's loving every second of this. Mjol, oh, hangs him out. Yep, and look at this. 320 plus pounds Ooh. across his back. <laughs> Into the cover, Blight trying to break it up. One, two, oh, and he kicked out. Look at Blight just grabbing at him. Trying to get a break up there. Mjoln sent back into the corner. Gemini. Another roundhouse. Damn. And now Blight howling to the crowd. And now from behind. Oh, watch out. Waiting for him to get watch down. Out. And now trying to scoop him. And Blight says, excuse you. 
pardon you. And now, that Argentinian backbreaker. Away with you, Suicide Gemini. Into the cover, and now Mjol trying to crawl. One, two, two, and he kicked out. And a kick to the back. Damn. They might have been looking for that spear, and Mjol said, not yet. And plants down Hallis. And now Mjoln looking to capitalize. One, two, and he two. kicked out. That's anyone's game. And face oh. first goes Mjoln. Nice face breaker right there. Wow. Rabbit, who do you like out of these three? I want Johan to win. I think Johan would be good for this. I mean, that'd be, that's fair. It's hard for me to pick against Blake, though. It is Halloween, and he is a yeah. werewolf. That is true. He is oh, one what of my a, favorite what Halloween a power pitches. slam. Backcracker. Good grief. And look at this. Oh, look at this. Look at the torque. Blight wow. is just torquing back on the legs. Just pop his legs off. Almost like a sharpshooter Boston Crab combo. Backbreaker there to Blight. Ah, yes. Transition to do a Russian leg sweep. The rare sharp crab. Into the corner, or the cover, rather. No, back in the ring, two, two. and a kick out. Uh. And up from behind, half Nelson. Very nice. And now he's gonna he go for a cover. cover. One, One two, two, and a kick out. It's like musical chairs of pinning right now. I'll tell you what, I couldn't agree more, and I, this has been back and forth and back and forth. Elbow drop to Gemini. And there's the spear! The howling Ooh, to Mjoln! The howling! Into the cover! Good night, Johan! One! One! Two! two. Throw! Oh, my Ooh. goodness! <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh! And Johan. Oh, look at the sneaky Gemini! Gemini tried to steal the pin! And the howling! Oh, he got speared for it! Gemini was gonna be oh, killed, he got, he got speared! Goodbye! One, One two, and oh! This man cannot not be bounced. Gemini crawled into the pin when Halas wasn't looking. This is wild. This is just wild. And a, oh, and a drop toe hole. And now with Johan. Yo, look out here! Kiss of despair! The kiss of despair on Johan after dispatching Howlis. Gemini's gonna steal it now. Come on, Johan! One, one, two! Oh, oh, damn it! Oh, hell! Damn it! Shit! Piss! Here is your winner, Suicide Gemini. The man can't be broken. Damn it. Damn it all. Ah, oh, That's just... Mm. I know, right? Mm. Right? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's we are deep. starting to wind down here tonight, which means there's not a lot of matches left. No, there's not. We're getting near the end of the... By my calculations, there's only two left. Two left. Two pieces of candy left in this And bag. one of them happens right now. Oh. The following contest is for the Interdimensional Championship. And here comes the challenger. And ladies and gentlemen, immediately following this, we will have our main event. Nero Napier defends the World Heavyweight Championship against Victor Vicious.
So the aristocratic Kanid won this opportunity in a fatal four-way match. And they have a lot of history with Brawl Kaiser. They won a best of five series against Brawl Kaiser. Both of them were in a triple threat match against Wiley for the Interdimensional Championship. Both came up short. But at Multivania, Brawl did with Aristocratic Kane. It could not. And that has finally put that strap around their waist. Tonight, can Kane do the same? I'll see. We'll be finding it out. Very shortly. I do think he's a good contender for it. And introducing his opponent. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's so cool. Brawl Kaiser with a little Daverman flair. He's so cool. And there you see him, the interdimensional champion, Brawl Kaiser, the good boy. Who's had a rough go as of it as of late, but uh, when it comes to defending the multiverse and keeping that title around his waist, oh look at this superhero pose! Oh, very nice. <laughs> He's won when it's counted. And there you see the prize at stake, the Interdimensional Championship on the line. So nice. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the challenger. Weighing in at 251 pounds, representing the princedom, the aristocratic Kane. And in this corner, the champion. Weighing in at 239 pounds, he is the interdimensional champion, Brawl Kaiser! And Rapture New Road tweeting out on social media, go Brawl Kaiser, hinching and take out your foe. I'm excited, you're excited, we're excited. Here Let's we go. go for it. And look, oh, look at Kanan able to flip back. Knees to the face. And now a nice fall away slam. Oh. And now sends him into the, oh, down goes the ref and a kick to oh, the gut. Oh, damn. Referee already down. Back elbow, Kanan. Nice back elbow. Boots, oh, boots no to the back. Drop kick. Oh, another reversing. Got oh, right off up the side of the apron. apron. Two, three. There we go. Shoves him away. Oh, shoves him away again. And now back into the ring goes Kanan. Trying to stay on the offensive. This is the first time these two have gone one on one since that best of five series. Oh, and a kick right to the arm. Oh! Damn. And now Kanan into the corner. Drop kick. Kanan has had Brawl Kaiser's number in their one on one matchups. There's a kick to the leg. To the corner. 
Yeah. Now up on the top rope. Oh, look at the roll through. And knees oh. right to the gut. Ooh, damn. Good grief. And now yeah, look at the moonsault. Everything this Kanan does is elegant. Flashy. Kick to Brawl Kaiser. And, oh, nice vertical suplex. And Look off the mat. Enjoy. Knee to the face. Kick to the face. Drop kick. And now there goes a knee right into the back of the head. And down goes Kaiser. Here we are. Trying to choke him out. Trying to slow down the pace of the match here. Just wrenching on him. Look at him go. Shove. Kaiser trying to pick Kaiser's up Kane. Back suplex. Ooh. Nice suplex there. Very nice. Takes him up again. Whips it into the corner. Oh, Ooh. the booty. Nice booty. Booty bopping. And Kaiser now with stomps. Knee what right to the stomps. muzzle. Kaiser trying to feed off this crowd. There we go. Give him your energy. But oh. he gets pushed away by Kanid. Sweep of the leg. Here's the Ooh, boot. Nice job. And now a boot to the face. Dragon brawl towards the center of the ring. Ooh, and now knee on the back of the head. Just crunches him down with that. And now Kanan kick, it blocked in a shot to the face. And now into the cover. And a kick out. Up, oh, wait, wait. Oh, what a German. Nice. This has been a very technically sound match so far. It has been. There's the kick out. And now trying to pull back on his muzzle again. Right underneath the chin. Good. Looking good. Kanan okay, has to break these fingers. There you go. Hold the snoot. Hold the snoot. Don't you dare boop it though. Oh, what a chop. Damn. That, how's that for a snoot booping? He booped the hell out of the snoot. He did. And our right hand, that was blocked. Kanan saw it coming in. And now into the corner. Another drop kick. And a sweep of the legs. Now a deep arm drag. Back and forth, knee to the face. Back and Kanan now reversing. Back. back and, yeah, these two are so evenly matched. Yep, snapmare there Ooh, on Kanan. Nice snapmare. Looking good. Looking good. And a deep arm drag. Kanan reversed. To the corner we go. Here we go. What has Brawl Kaiser got in mind here? Turns him around. Now looking to put him all the way up. And lays him down. Tree of Woe position. And now the face right to the muzzle again. Ooh, and now into the cover. Looking for the quick cover. Referee down. This to retain. Count of two and a kick out. Oh. 
And now a stomp to the back. And it again with a body shot and a clothesline over the top rope. And Kanan is feeling it now. He's really feeling it. Right hand there from Kanan. Back elbow blocked. Back into the ring. Kanan cannot win on a disqualification or a countout. Title only changes hand on pinfall, submission, or referee stoppage. And a knee right to the face into that middle turnbuckle pad. And immediately into the cover now. One. And a kick out. I'm just impressed of any match here tonight. These two seem to just be so in sync and so yeah, up serious. on what the other's trying to do. Just back and forth constantly. Like right there, just reversal after reversal after reversal. And yeah. now Kaiser might have found oh, the he opening. Oh, down he goes. And now looking for the Starbuster. Here we go. Kane made one Buster. mistake, and that might cost him all oh, the reversal. Well scouted. Oh, and now it's Brawl Kaiser's turn. The knees. Oh, the knees. This would get Kaden the title out of nowhere. Oh, Kaden's shit. got him. Kaden got him. Oh. 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 Now there's the stomp. Knee to the back of the head. Lobbering him. And now, knee to the face. Ooh. Woo. Damn, bounced up after that. Look at that pin, one. There's the cover, count of two. Ooh, almost. <laughs> Not Boy. quite. Ooh. And now the back suplex. Brawl, right hand to his face. Yeah. And a single oh. leg drop kick. Kanan and Kaiser have been back and forth this entire match. Kanan looking to take that interdimensional championship off of Brawl Kaiser, stumbling out of the corner. And now back to the center of the ring. Kanan very methodical. And now a little showboat. Bows to the crowd and drops the leg. Kanan was not a fan. Clothesline. And saying that's exactly where you could kiss him and points to the hard cam. Oh, but he paid for it. Oh, damn. And now Kanan oh, measuring. Damn. And again, this moonsault from a standing position. Kanan doesn't look that athletic, but they have some sneaky athleticism. And here they go again. Up. Oh. Over. And now rolling him over. And now from this position, a trifecta oh. of... Standing Ooh. moonsault. I didn't know dogs would fly. I didn't either. And Kaiser just trying to get up off the ground. And now right hand. And oh, he got caught. Ooh. What Let's a deep arm drag there. Caught Kanan coming in. And now immediately into the house of pain. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Kanan trying to hang in there. And Brawl playing a little bit of Kanan's game right now. Yeah, but yeah. now into that triangle choke. And Kanan turns it over and able to get out of it. Kick, back elbow. Drop kick, no. Turns him over immediately into the pin. Kanan trying to end it. Brawl Kaiser able to respond. There we are. There we have it. Very nice. And oh, there's the Pele kick. Holy shit. That came out of nowhere, too. Yeah, and then takes a bow to the crowd. Very proud of himself. Side headlock here from Kanan. There he is. He 
He's wrenching it. He's wrenching it. And now into the cover. One, two, and a kick out. And now drops him down. Again, coming up right after this match, our main event, Nero Napier Ooh, versus Victor Vicious. Hell of a show. A hell of a show so far. Brawl Kaiser. Oh! Hell of a hit. And he counters with a kick of his own. Dodges it. They're both leaving back into the ring. Back and forth, back and forth. This is crazy. Good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. Nice neck breaker there from Kanan. And now rolls through is Kanan. Body shots again, just lighting him up. Moves out of the way of the kick. Look how quick they've been. That's just nice. Now drops him onto that middle rope. What is Kanan doing here? Ooh, leg across the back. And look, just lighting up Kaiser now. Shoots him in off the ropes. And a drop toe hold into the rope. Damn. Again, the cover. One, two, and a kick two. out. More kicks, more punches from Kaiser in response. To the corner we go. Turning around the wolf. And now look at this. Oh, what a roundhouse. Good grief. That was crazy. And now Kane in some trouble. Brawl Kaiser looking to end it. The Starbuster uh -huh. to retain. Star Ooh. Can Kaiser get the better of his rival? One, two. two. Yes! Oh! Oh, that was harrowing! And Brawl Kaiser continues the streak. Here is your winner and still interdimensional champion, Brawl Kaiser! That has been a hell of a match. There we go! The good boy does it again. Way to go, good boy. And ladies and gentlemen, before we go anywhere, we are about to hear from the Bulldog Graham Martin, who was victorious earlier tonight against Jack the Questionable. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm sure many of you can remember a moment in your lives when you were walking down a sidewalk or an empty street, minding your business, not a care in the world, when out of nowhere comes the shocking appearance of an angry dog growling and barking and snapping its jaws at you and the only thing between you and it was a fence of wood or steel the initial shock wears off and maybe you walk away uneased by the surprise maybe the fear dissipates as a sense of Security reassures you, or maybe you become brazen, cocky, oh so sure of yourself that you make fun of the dog, making faces and giving it taunts to ache its anger on, knowing there was nothing that that dog could do, being stuck behind barriers and rules well now imagine the fence coming down the barriers lifted the rules non-existent oh how the mood would 
change. That's what you have to look forward to, Jack. You've heard my barks and my yelps, and you've danced around them for so long, secure in your arrogance, knowing you were safe as long as I followed the rules. Now we get to do this my way. At Breakdown 7, we aren't going to wrestle. We aren't even going to fight. An Extreme Rules match means one thing. A dog fight. Blood. Carnage. No rules. No excuses. No mercy. See, Jack? I'm not barking now. Because this Sunday, there won't be any... <laughs> questions left. It'll just be the end. Roof. Roof. Well, thank you, Bulldog, for finding a way to make me shiver in my seat. But ladies and gentlemen, coming up next, our main event. <laughs> Nero our Napier event. Nero Napier defends against Victor Vicious and he has something he wants to say to the champ. Ooh. El Polo de la Muerte, Ginger Boy, Jagger Blackthorn, Henry Colt, Kevin Blackwell, and Johan Mjoln. These are just some of the names over the past year and a half that Nero Napier has dominated to keep his world title. Many of you believe I will be on that same list here soon that I will meet their same fate, that I don't deserve a title shot, that I should just go back down to the mid card where I belong. But to this I say to you, if I wasn't worthy of this shot, then why haven't any of you stopped me yet? You see, I have tore through the tag and singles division of this roster with my boys. We were taking out everyone who stood in our way one by one until it caught someone's attention. So much so that he made the worst decision of his life. He decided to attack Hutch Kale from behind. Nero, Nero, Nero. You want to start a war with the cartel? Then bring it on. You and your menagerie of a failed Donkey Kong game will see their end firsthand when Hutch Kale and Nitzig Gunk Gobbler dismantled them and Vaporwave in the same ring on Sunday. And as for you, Nero, you may be able to beat some ginger boy, but I'm a grown man, and you ain't fought anyone like me yet. So at Breakdown 7, on All Hallows' Eve, I will show you no mercy, and I will not stop until I end your rule, because on Sunday, the whole multiverse will witness the fall of King K. Rule. And ladies and gentlemen, that match, your main event, is next. The following contest is for the World Heavyweight Championship. the leader of the cartel. Oh, he looks tough as all get out right now. He looks ready to go, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Nero Napier has held that championship for nearly 400 days. He won it in Multivania. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did. A year and a half ago. He beat Ginger yeah. Boy for that championship thanks to some interference from Satiris Basilicus. Don't think we forgot, Nero. But that being said, he has retained it by all manners of hook or crook. And, and while he has seemingly turned over a new leaf recently, people such as Jack Andrews, 
Victor Vicious. They're not really buying it. And with Suicide Gemini having Apex flustered, well, let's just say maybe the time is right. Maybe it's the cartel's night. Maybe he's feeling it. And there go the lights, and here comes the champion. Here he comes. Oh boy, here it comes. Somebody let him out of the cage again. There he is. My man's got a whole chainsaw. He sure freaking does. On All Hallows Eve. The best time for slasher movies. And I'll tell you what, the odds are in his favor. Every champion has retained up to this point. The odds are stacked against Victor Vicious, but, but every puncher's got a chance. That's true. That's true. And there you see it. The World Heavyweight Championship. It has been on Flashbang since almost its inception and only two men have ever held that title. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy he's held it for a year and a half? I, I mean, he hasn't exactly done it all on his own, Rabbit, and that's the reason you got suspended. That's true. Yeah, he did. Well, he's my friend, man. There we go. I'm saying that me being the manager gave him the belt. And there it is. Honestly, of all the people to fight Nero, Victor Vicious, I'm incredibly interested. I'm I'm thoroughly, thoroughly interested. But there's so many factors at play here. What is Suicide Gemini up to? What is the cartel mm -hmm. up to? There's mm -hmm. Apex is looming, but gas tonight. Introducing the challenger. Representing the cartel, weighing in at 334 pounds. Victor Delicious! And introducing the champion, representing Apex, weighing in at 243 pounds, he is the Apex Predator and the World Heavyweight Champion, Nero Napier! And there it is. On All Hallows' Eve, can Nero do it one more time? There you go, lizard man. There you go, mob fella. So, Rabbit, for one more time tonight, who do you got? Man be stunned if I didn't say I don't think I don't think Nero has it in the bag I'll, I'll, I'll oh! Nero this one. oh my god Victor looking good early on what do you think rabbit man 
Man, I don't know. The Earth pulled it out better. Can you put? Can you pick against your boy? I mean, and look at Nero. Nero's think, frustrated. Oh, yeah, he is. Vic is going oh. after him like very few people Vic I've is, seen. Vic is driven, is what he is. You know, oh, look out here. Right hand, body blows. Right. There you are. All right, Rabbit, you got to make a pick. Are you sticking with Nero? Oh, and there goes Vic. Yes, yes, I did. And I made, I made a pick. I made a pick. All right. Down. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to let you have it. And did you see Nero actually broke the count? He's not trying to win by count. Oh, he could be in trouble oh. early. Oh. oh, no, right hand. Oh. There you go. I thought he might have been going for Titan Aboa. Got a lot of history with Nero. We train together. Right hands. And a close line over the top oh, rope. Oh, they both went down. Let's see. Oh, counter with that right. And oh, look at, look at Vic. Trip it up Nero. Oh, and a slap to the face. The disrespect. Now Nero throws him, clothesline. Oh, that clothesline. Into the cover. One. And a kick out. And now a stomp on the back of the elbow. And now bashing his skull in. Ooh. And close line. And now our right hand sending Vicious back towards the video screen there. And look at Nero getting back in the ring. They are. Backbreaker. He he wants to beat Victor Vicious. I uh, I commend that. See, see. Now look. All right. So maybe Nero's trying. But he's also done a lot of awful stuff. Nice belly to belly there from Victor Vicious. I mean, everybody's done a lot of things. Like, Victor Vicious has done a lot of things. That is true. Look, I'm not saying that he'd be the ideal person to beat Nero, but sooner or later, somebody's going to have his number. Oh, yeah. If anybody has his number as of this moment, I would say Victor does. But I am still backing him. I would argue that Gemini does. Gemini is. And now look at that biting of fingers. Oh! The animalistic oh. nature of Nero Napier. The phalanges. Oh, the phalanges. And Just now right hand to the, the face. There's a boot, another boot. Rolls him over into the cover. And a kick out. And now back up. And Vic is saying, come on in. And ooh, not afraid to get dirty. Hangs him out to dry. And now immediately, look at this. Look at this, the quarantine. Here we are. Shades of Dr. Grimm. And able to get out of it. Vic rolls him up and now punching and breaking the legs. And tweeting out on social media, the Omni Geek saying, all things considered, this is fitting for tonight. These are two of the biggest monsters in the Nexus. Oh, absolutely. And also tweeting out on social media, hello, Flashpan. Don't think I've been watching you very closely, much like the MNW Championship. Your precious belt is in dire need of cleanse. To wipe the slate from an inferior reptile, all good things must come to an end, Nero. Trust me, it's only a matter of time. Tick tock. All right, you know what? Okay. okay. How about you shut up, Semjax? And look and at him rolling him over. Shades of Scotty e. Stevens now, the master class, but Vic rolls out of it. Oh, Scott E. Stevens, absolutely. Backbreaker oh, to Nero. Oh, that's a big backbreaker. To the corner we go. 
Shoulder check. And now rolling his head. Down goes Nero. And a kick out. And now stretching out Nero. Right hand. Snapmare. There you go. Nice snapmare there. And now a side headlock. Shoves away Nero. To the corner. The corner with ye. And now a boot down to the last turnbuckle run. Now look at that knee. The brace Ooh. right into the face. One, two. And a kick out by Victor Vicious. Nero and Vic. Vic and Nero. There can only be one. And will Vic be the one? Here comes the vicious close line in the corner. Oh! And now down goes Nero. And look at that, not even a cover, just beating the crap out of him. And now here we go. Last rights. Last rights. Last Nero has rights. never tapped out, never been pinned. Will this be the first? And able to break the hold. Vicious trying everything that he can. Oh, maybe, would he be, could this be the Arriva Derchi? He's got him up. No, it's a buckle bomb. Oh. And now Vicious into the cover. Oh, now feet on the ropes. Hey, ref, ref, ref. ref, ref. Ooh. Ooh. Victor Vicious doing his best Nero Napier impression. Close line to Nero. Back and forth, back and forth. The longer this match goes on, I don't know who it favors, but those shoulders start to creep up a little bit slower on each of those pinfalls. Mm -hmm. And now it's Nero hammering away. It, they have very similar styles. Yes, they do. Not much brawling and submission based, although Nero maybe more so submission. As you see another quarantine, this triangle choke. Vicious trying to hang in there, trying to grab at his eyes. And again, able to break the legs. And oh, it was going for that backbreaker and broken out of by Napier. But again, right back to it. And now into the corner, shoulder tackle missed. Right hand. Oh, and there it is, the coil. There it is. The, the coil, coil locked in and broken the coil. up. Well, he tried, he tried to lock it in. And look at Vic rolling the hell out of, out of Dodge. And Nero saying, come on back in here. And look oh, at that, Nero. Fantastic. Oh, he got a little cocky. Oh, Victor over. Vicious will play dirty. Those tricks are not going to work. German suplex. Oh, grabbed onto him. And a clothesline. Nice clothesline. Head over ah, heels. Ah, damn. And another reversal. Clothesline. It's a Bus. And this could be it. Pulling him away from the ropes. Can he wrap him up? Into the coil he goes and to retain are. the championship. Into the Victor coil. Victor Vicious you. trying to hang on. And now back shot to Nero. Against the ropes. Right hand. Off the ropes. Backhand. Looking good. And a rake right down the back of Nero. Oh, what a double axe handle. And now Nero shoving away Victor. We are. And just trying to regain his concentration and shake off the cobwebs and now shoots in Victor oh. looking for the clothesline Vic ducks it going home oh, reverse that, that and a clothesline into the corner 
And now you're starting to see the intensity of the champion. Knee right to the chest, the throat. Nero will cut any corner that he has to into the cover. Count of two and then get another oh, kick out. sprung up. Looking close though, looking close. And down goes Nero. Shot to the elbow. Victor saying, all right, now it's your turn to get back in here. But not afraid to get dirty. To the outside we go. And head first off that apron, that video screen. And another shot to the face. And down he goes. Ooh. This looks a lot like the old Nero, brawling all over the place. And now taunting the crowd, and I don't think they like him very much either. Into the ring. They might have been looking for the coil again, but Victor says no, shoulder check. It says bring it on. Rolls out of the way, Nero, boot to the midsection, no, and oh, another, good. oh, front Ooh. slam. Nice and now into the slam. cover. One, two, oh, Dude. he kicked out. Ooh, but hells. it's taking a little bit longer each time. And now rolling him over, looking for this half Boston Crab. Oh, wait a second, that's Kuso Kale's music. Oh, oh shoot, here come the champs. Oh no! Oh no! Kuso oh, in the no. madness, but there's backup on the way! Here comes the other Kale! It's Hutch and Nitzig! Oh my god! They got Victor's back! And they're grabbing the belts! Oh, down goes Madness! Down goes Kuso! Oh damn! Kuso Kale has been avoiding Hutch for weeks! And now he's about to oh take out his frustration. Oh, and down goes the madness into the barricade. Compliments of that belt. They're beating them with their own world titles. There goes the Daka Droppa. Close line of Kuso. Oh. The cartel is standing tall, but Nero took advantage. Nero took advantage of the distraction. And Vic shoves him away. God is that kick. God is that kick. The cartel Sorry, and the Mad World are brawling stuff. on the stage. Clothesline oh, from Nero. Clothesline. And our nice right hand. hand. Clothesline again. And now a body shot. Double axe handle. Shotting off the ropes. Victor Vicious. With the help of the cartel still in this, Nero catching rights. Look at him, just pounding on him. Just trying Ooh. to break his hands. And now again, now look at these lefts right to the temple. He is just mauling this man. And now into the cover and a kick out. Oh! Back to the elbow. Right to the elbow. Nero, shoulder Imagine. check. We knew something was gonna happen, but it looks like the cartel was ready. Clothesline. And now a kick to the back. Clothesline to Victor! Ooh! Ooh! And now up over the top rope. And now brought back in the hard way. Nero. Oh, that was a low blow. The referee might have missed it. And now a body shot. And now the roll up. Look at this. La Mistral Cradle. One. Oh, and a kick out. And now a shoulder charge. Overhead belly to belly suplex. Looking good. And now again to the corner. Vicious. 
Turning around Nero. Backhand. Oh, and there's the Luthes press. And again, these two have been brawling from turnbuckle to turnbuckle. Folks, this is your main Neither event one, World Heavyweight next. Championship on the line. The undefeated Nero Napier versus Victor Vicious. Slowing to the gun. Oh, nobody oh. home. Nobody home for that spear. And a clothesline. Oh, close line. And now Nero trying to psych himself up. And now telling Victor to get back in the ring. Nero close line. There we are, lifting up, lifting up Vic. All right. And now a double axe handle. Three. And now right hands, right hands. Four. And now again posing to the crowd, and maybe he's rethought his strategy. Willing to take the count out to retain. But he's telling Vic to get back in here. Shades of the old Nero. You never truly lose the instincts of an apex predator. Survival of the fittest. Immediately into the cover, trying to end this in a kick out. Looking good. Right hand to Vic. Sends him reeling. Right hand to Nero. Sends him reeling. And now again, front slam. Ooh. Nice front slam. And right back to these left hands. And again into the cover. And a kick up by Nero. Sweeps the leg. Sweep the leg, Johnny. Always. Nice fight, it's carry reversal there. Picking him up. To the corner. And another clothesline. Looking good. Looking Both good. of these men being judicious with their moves. Trying to conserve energy the longer this match goes on. Beating him up against the corner. Yep, using the turnbuckle as a weapon. Ten smashes of his head. Mm. I feel that. But kicks him away is Nero. Clothesline into the corner. Slaps the back of his head. Jumps down and slaps him again. And now again with these right hands now. Into the cover, just trying to bludgeon the man till he can't stand anymore and he kicked out. This match is hell. I, like, they are it's killing each other. Game, like, honestly, good. This God, has just man. been a brawl. This isn't a wrestling match. This is a straight up fight. Oh, God. Grabbing the head. Body blows. Look at these kicks. Look at Nero going. Oh, and a knee. Ooh, nice knee. And that sends Nero, or that sends Vic to the outside. And here he comes. Oh, from behind. Tonta bodied. Takes him down and now pummeling him with palm strikes. And again, now left hands against the face of Nero. And again Ooh. into the cover. Yeah, Both these it. men trying to end it. Count of two and a kick out. Good grief. Oh, my God. No, this is... Man. Jawbreaker. Right hand. Oh, here it comes. Coil. Here comes coil. The coil. He caught him. He caught him in the coil. Nowhere for Vic to go. He's too far from the ropes. Oh, but look at the power. He just sat up in it. Oh, but he got caught! Caught! Tighten the boa! Good night, boa. Vicious! Oh my god, Tighten the boa! One, two, two. no! And now hanging on to him again. And this time it's a right hand! You know, grabbing him up. And now looking for this pile driver and sits him down. No! Oh, dang. And now again kicking him and going after the arms. Vic has taken a tremendous amount of punishment thus far. 
And now looking for the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter? Sharpshooter. There we go. But Vic stands Vic him up. Breaks out of it. This man's bones and are a like clothes iron. Line. iron bones. He's got laser bones. Crazy. And now the left hands. And again, trying to pick him up, and he says no. Shoulder check. Nice. And again, th again, this is a, just a fight. They're just punching the crap out of each other until someone stops moving. And yeah, now to get the cover again. One, two, and a kick out at two. Yeah, they are beating the absolute bejesus out of each other. It's, it's astonishing. Oh. And now throw oh. him over the top rope. Oh, damn. And now picking Vic up after sending him tumbling back into the ring. Body shots. And now Vic moves out of the way. One. Oh, but he caught a clothesline. Nice Normally it's vicious line dealing out those vicious clotheslines. But clothesline now it's Nero. Right, and these knees to the face. Over Ooh. and over and over again. Ooh, the referee could stop this match. It is within his reason and his power. One, two, jeez. Oh, man. He could. It is within his power, but he has to think, would it be cool? I mean, it might save mm -hmm. someone's life, though. Oh, look at the power. Picking him up. And now throwing Vicious. And now turns him over. And again, back to the arm. And a back suplex. Right hands. Right hands. Vicious. Right hands. Clubbing blows. Right hands into a clothesline. Into another clothesline. And another snapmare. Snapmare. Oh, damn. And again into the cover. Nero trying to put Vicious Nero. away in a kick out. Oh, good gracious almighty. And now right hands. Deep arm drag. Vicious back on the offensive. And look at these. There we go. Right and left hooks. Staggering the champion. Nero. Slingshot it back. And into the cover. One, One, two, and two. what is it gonna take? Oh, heavens to Betsy. Heavens to last Betsy. Last rights! He's got the last, last rights. rights! Oh, and Nero snaked out of it. He could well, he couldn't clasp the arms. <laughs> and Nero escaped and delivered a shot right to his face. There we go. Looking against the ropes. Looking and for the clothesline. Go. He ducked it again. And he got one of his own, but Nero moved. They have done their homework to the corner. Yeah, they have. Oh! Right hand, Vicious, trying to grab him. And another clubbing blow. And now sends him over the top rope. And now what's he doing? Slingshot snapmare. Now turns him back over. In a position. What has he got in mind? Oh, no, ref. Wait, ref. 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 Feet on the ropes. Ref. Feet on the ropes. Ref. Two holes. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh. <laughs> There's a nice side headlock takedown. I This match is, this is doing a Walkers. number on my heart. I'll tell you what. Oh, yeah. No, it, it, it's Peter Pat town right now. Nero now back on the offensive. Punching a fist-sized hole into Victor's head. And now a stomp to the leg. And look at this, headbutt you! Oh, that was low! That was very, right very there. low! Right in the Cape Canaveral's. 
Dragon screw right there. Nero. To the corner. Vicious. Oh, the spear. And there's the overhead belly to belly suplex. Oh, there she be. And now rolling out of the way, Victor. Nero. Oh, he got caught. He got caught. Oh, oh. He got caught. Anaconda Vice. Oh, but the knees. The knees. Oh, how quickly we forget the knees. And oh, what a reversal there by Nero. But an elbow and a clothesline into the corner. And now just dropping the knees. The boots, look at the boots. Just trying to put a boot size imprint on his chest. He's saying, screw you, Napier. The hell out of my house, Lebowski. Into the corner. And two count off of the boots. Oh, what a drop kick. You don't Ooh, see Victor pull Lord. out drop kicks. I didn't think he had it in him. Going deep into the arsenal. Shot to the gut. And vertical suplex into a face buster. Right hand. Might have been trying to set up for the coil. Into the corner. Vicious clothesline reversed. And now Nero whips him in. And a bulldog. Into the cover. Nero to retain. Two and a kick out. <laughs> oh, God. And down goes Nero now. Oh, here we go. Into the corner. Vic. Here we go. Vic. Here we go. Vicious clothesline. Victor Vicious, Vicious clothesline. Oh, no. Staggering the champion to win the title. Vicious clothesline to oh, oh, God. Oh my fucking God, dude. But he likes to put him in the last rights. He went for it immediately, yeah, center of the ring. Nero looking at the camera, trying to wrench back. Can Nero survive it? Nero trying, oh, and he slips out again. Oh my god. And a clothesline of Vic. It has taken everything. Everything that Nero and Victor have had. This is with Suicide Gemini. Oh, look at the ref checking on Nero. The referee could stop this match. The title would change hands. And Vic says, get the hell away from him. This is my moment. Nero on the ropes. Into the corner. Oh, wait a second. Oh. The Maze Crash. This is Satiris' move. The Maze Crasher. Maze Crasher. The Maze Crasher. The Minotaurs are fighting the Outlaws. Oh, he's got him up. Arriva. Derchi. Derchi. Into the car. I don't believe it. Victor's oh, going to do it. One, Victor two. got it. Oh, God. Holy hell. Oh. The hand basket. I can't. Uh, you must. I can't. Oh, you the must. ref. No, wait a second. There goes the ref. Victor has had enough. Victor's had enough. And wait a second. He's, he's motioning to the ramp. Nero Napier fighting back. And here comes the cartel. The cartel's in the ring. That's Hutch and Nitzig. Holy and they're shit. beating the hell out of Nero. Holy there is no shit. referee. Dude, this is only, where's the ref? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, they're looking for an Arima Darchi, all three of them. Oh, oh my oh. God. Where is the ref? The ref did it, how did you miss it? Did you miss that? No. How no. Did you miss that? And he's, He's picking up Nero. Come on, ref. How did you miss that? How did you miss that, Lance? Nero going up the streak is on the line. Vicious Arima Darchi. No. Oh, God, no. No. Two. Victor Vicious has ended this.
the streak. I don't believe it. Oh my God. The streak is dead. Here is your winner and the new MNW World Heavyweight Champion, Victor Vicious. Victor Vicious against all odds. What? It took three men to end the winning streak. But Nero's that streak is over, and we have a new astonishing. heavyweight champion, and I don't believe it. The cartel reigns supreme over MNW. Rabbit, I'm stunned. That's, that's astonishing. That's... And it, I, That's absolutely astonishing. And how poetic. It was a year and a half ago that Satiris screwed Ginger Boy to hand Nero that championship. And now, off of Satiris' own move, the cartel has stuck it to Apex. Gemini had a plan. Apex was gassed tonight. And with the madness and Kuso Kale taken out, he was free pickings. I can't believe it. That was a hell of a Halloween match. I, that was just, I can't believe it. It's over. It's over. He's lost. He's actually lost. He's beat the undefeatable streak. He's beat, he's beat the thing. And he's ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I just. We have a new heavyweight champion. And his name is Victor Vicious. Ladies and gentlemen. That's going to do it for MNW Breakdown. My name is Eric Janerickson. That's Hey Mr. Rabbit. We'll catch you next time. Don't miss Flashbang. Good night. Good night. Hey, it's Flashbangs. Titty the Troll here to remind you to pay that toll. How, you may be asking? Ha! Easy. Just be sure to give us a like, throw down a comment, and hit that subscribe button. And we'll be seeing you around. For the, uh, you know, next payment. Mm-hmm. <laughs>